Atlanta's going down. Copy. This is an audio slate for dive H1921. UTC time is 021639. Mark. Go ahead. Yeah, I know how to change these. I just didn't, I didn't know that one. But okay, it's over there. Great. Thank you so much. All right, we are in the water for our seventh dive. We are pushing them out. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> we are rolling right through them. Welcome everybody who's joining us. We'll have a little bit of blue water time. But I think we'll be on bottom in maybe two hours. Bob Pfizer, are you guys ready for control? We are ready. Hey, go ahead and bump it. Try that. Copy. You got it, Dex going off comms. Copy that. Uh, Captain going off radio comms.
Oh, hello, Colton. Thanks for joining us today. Okay. Is there anything you're hoping to see today, Shelby? I don't know. Sky's the limit. I'm always just excited. I'm like, ocean, surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yep, we got you. We can hear you. All right. <laughs> now I'm on. Now I'm all set. Welcome back, everyone. Uh, this is the four to eight shift, the hard no. <laughs> Soft yes. Soft yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> shift. Soft yes. And uh, we are looking forward to this dive. Um, there's always great things to see. Really excited about it. But I have to say that it is becoming a little bit of a blur. <laughs> like a little bit. What little happened bit. on which dive? Like yeah. there have been so many highlights, but at the same time, I'm like, was that yesterday? No, when I go through Last and like night, sort. This morning. <laughs> Four days ago. Oh my god! When I go through and sort the pictures, I'm like, was this from? Is this the same sponge? Yeah. Okay. I'm like going through like the data logging pictures, and I'm just like, wait, wh which one was that from? Yeah, <laughs> you and me both. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, always fun things to see. We'll see what we see on this one. We're going down to about 2,500 meters to mm -hmm. start. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Going across about 2.4 kilometers according to our plan and up to about a depth of 1,500 meters. Nice. Um, that yep. is what we hope to do. That's the in plan. In the next 16 hours. Yep, yep, yep. So. You'll see us again. <laughs> you will see us again. We're going to open you up and we're going to close you out on this dive. And so we're going to 2,500 meters, descending at about 20 meters per minute. Um, so it'll be about two hours till the bottom, or under a little under two hours till we get to the bottom. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, the swells and white caps, someone's wondering about them. Um, you know, we checked everything and the bridge and expedition leader said it was a go. So we are in and I think we're doing just fine. So thanks for yeah. the concern. <laughs> I am, I'm definitely not the best or the most qualified person to, to talk <laughs> about that. But I know there's a lot that goes into the calculations of whether or not we can dive, like yep. current and Wind swell, and all kinds of stuff, wind, yeah. Wind. Um, so even though there's white caps, um, it definitely doesn't mean that all of those things are working against us to the to exactly. the maximum. So yep. we're lucky to be able to dive today. And it's a beautiful day to dive in general. We've been really getting some like really nice sunny days with mm -hmm. some breeze. I like soaked up a lot of sun before I came in Good. into the darkness. Yeah. The submarine <laughs> layer. <Yeah. laughs> And we are diving on um, Lunden. Is that how it's pronounced? I think. Yeah. Uh, Seamount, uh, which I believe is on the western fork of the Okalani Ridge within Papahana Mokuakea Marine, Marine National Monument. Um, and so we will see what it has in store for us. Um, our sampling procedures and sort of priorities will remain very similar to past dives, mm -hmm. um, collecting samples for aging the seamount for microbial analysis, as well as assessing animal biodiversity down here on the seamount. So we'll still be uh, targeting samples for those reasons when we get to the bottom.
And hopefully we come across some of those high density. Yes, those are always fun. Areas, those are awesome. And uh, honestly, I still want to see a Dumbo octopus. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie, it's on my list. <laughs> I know, <laughs> I know. Or I just need the highlight to come out so that I can rewatch it on, re <laughs> on repeat. Either one works. <laughs> Either one works. Shout out to everybody from Spain and Korea, Portugal, Turkey, the UK, New Zealand, Australia, Canada, and the US for joining us. I know we'll probably get um, a couple of more locations um, as we get further into the dive and get on bottom. But thanks for everybody who joined us for the launch. I know some people really enjoy the launches, just seeing the whole team get together and seeing the vehicles uh, get into the water and descend. So thanks to everybody who joined us for that first part. The launches are one of my favorite parts, I think. They're really cool. I love the, I like getting them out for some mm. reason. I don't know. We've been doing a lot of like recoveries and launches during the daytime, but those nighttime recoveries and launches I when know, you can see the fish are really, really cool. It's really pretty. It's really pretty. Where was I during those? We've done nighttime launches. We, ha we have not. I I watch them from the deck. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And when I was watching it from the deck, there was like a fish fish frenzy happening with all yeah. the lights that made the predators have an easy time catching their prey. <laughs> really? really cool. Yeah, there was a bunch of mahi-mahi out. It was, yeah. I think it was like the second dive that we did or something. Okay. Um, yeah, because we haven't had night recoveries yeah. okay. or deployments, I think. Okay. Um, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I did see a mahi-mahi jump out of the water. I don't know if it was being chased. It was one of the first oh, days. Oh, that's so cool. Believe. Dang, I missed them. I was sitting Whoa. up on the social deck, not really even paying much attention, and like turned and poop. There that's it is. so cool. I was I actually saw a mahi mahi eating smaller fish. Ah. That's that's what I saw. Oh, yeah, that's so cool. But oh. all the nature out here, <laughs> all the animals. I don't know. Front row, are you on SPL at all? Yeah. What up? Uh, I, just, I have to double check. I know y'all will be up there doing stuff. Yeah, um, we just finished our stuff. It's great. <laughs> so we're chilling now. Um, somebody's just wondering, do the ROVs power down to, to um, depth, or are they towed? No, they are powered up and not towed. <laughs> they are, Hercules is pushing down with all its might. <laughs> and same for, same for Ascent. Awesome, awesome. Um, we are not inside the vehicles, no. Um, as cool as that may have been, <laughs> we are not inside the vehicles. Um, we are on EV Nautilus, and we have right, our RV now. pilots controlling the RVs, so they go down by themselves. If you look on feed three, we're in this big container um, that is dark, so I could see how you would think that maybe we were inside <laughs> inside one of the ROVs, but no, we are up here on the boat. Wow, that would be a gigantic that would ROV. Be so big. Wow, that's like that's separate. Yeah, it wouldn't yeah. be R. Oh, it wouldn't be remote then, right? HOV. HOV. What is H stand Human. for? Human. Human. <laughs> Human, but you're still a human operating it. It's true. I don't know why they call it an HOV, but anyway. <laughs> a crude submersible. Crude submersible. Yeah. Crude. A giant crude submersible <laughs> to fit all of us in here. Very crude. <laughs> Trevor and Ashton, how are your like wrists and hands feeling on the seventh mm. dive now? <laughs> Well, they're fine now. They're just rough by hour four. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any wrist movements you do in between to, like, massage or, like, work them out? You can do it's more for fingers. You can do the up, duck, tuck, fist. Mm. Up, <laughs> duck, tuck, fist. You have way engineered this. <laughs> no, I got that from a, from a navigator, actually, last year. He had so all funny. these hand exercises. Up, you ever try the up, duck, tuck, tuck, up, duck, tuck fist? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, say that slow one more time. That's up, the tongue twister. Up, duck, 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 tuck, 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 
fist. 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 All right, everybody, we're going to do it in unison. Ready? All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> up. up. Duck. Duck. Tuck. Fist. Fist. <laughs> Ready? Do it fast. No, I'm scared. You don't do it fast. No, oh. <laughs> I'm just <Okay>. saying. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You take, I don't know, a second or two. You stre it's a finger oh, stretch. Oh, OK. That's <laughs> stretch. Um, Diane's like, challenge this, this time. This is my problem with yoga. Do you see it? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's it's so good for you, and I love it. But then I like want to do it fast. <laughs> She's like challenge yeah. round. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Immediately, right? No. How do I do this? This button. I feel like I forgot. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Um, any idea what caused the crack we all are exploring? Are, if you're referring to the split in the ridge, the bifurcation, that's mm -hmm. one of the things we are hoping to find out with the samples. Um, but <laughs> that determination and the information that will come from these samples is going to take a while. Um, we have to get the samples after process and then back to shore and in the lab, and that takes a little while, but that is definitely one of the questions. Um, that we are hoping to get some answers to eventually um, is why the ridge sort of uh, split like that. So, yeah. just put up high pack plan on channel three if anybody wants to talk about those waypoints in this ridge that we're on headed to high pack plan different computer oh plan. i will leave that to lynette and or beth if they want to talk about high pack uh just a second might be a Beth question. <laughs> <laughs> we do. Do we have nine waypoints again, or I can't quite. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No worries. No worries. Um, so I can see that we have nine waypoints. Uh, we had nine waypoints on the last dive as well, and we will be working our way through all of them over these uh, 16 hours, anticipated 16 hours of this dive on London Seamount. And I believe each waypoint is 500 meters. Um, between? Between, yeah. Okay. Um, 500 meters like in the lateral or, horizontal, yeah, the <laughs> horizontal way. way. <laughs> because actually if you look, I was just looking at this and I was so mm -hmm. confused, but if you look between like waypoint one and waypoint two versus waypoint two and waypoint oh, three, yeah. it looks so much further away. And I think that's because the depth change between waypoint two and waypoint three is pretty oh, drastic. Oh, so that's what that's showing, yeah. not necessarily. So, but wouldn't that just mean the lines is. are closer to? Wouldn't that just make the li the lines closer together? The interval between waypoints in this case is actually not 500 meters. They're all uh, pretty different. Oh, okay. Never mind. That makes so much more sense. Thank you, Lynette. <laughs> no worries. So what is that between two and three? So, that's like so Lynette, if the if the distance is not the same between each waypoint, what determined where you placed each waypoint? Yeah, so the placement of each waypoint is usually um, just at an inflection point on mm. the ridge. Um, so this is just to sort of trace out a general path that we're going to be traveling. Um, so where the ridge curves is usually where a waypoint ends up getting placed. Mm, got it. Okay. So it's not necessarily a point that we have picked out, like, 
we really need to stop in this precise location mm -hmm. and look at things here or sample things here. Um, it's really just um, to trace out the path. So we, we basically play connect the dots. Um, and if we do that successfully with the ROV, we know that we're traveling right up the ridge. Okay. Back and is there, is there anything specific that you do once you get to that general waypoint area? Like, do you take an eDNA sample or anything or? Uh, no. Um, yeah, not necessarily. We just sort of do sampling wherever the scientists decide that uh, they want to. Um, and usually that's more of a visual thing with what we're seeing in the cameras. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. Someone's wondering what the units of the units of ship heave, pitch, and roll are in Grafana. I can't see Grafana, but I don't know if those are included. Um, heave meter? should be in meters. Pitch and roll should be in degrees. Okay. Well, there you go, person. <laughs> Thanks, Lynette. Yep. Oh, wait. Nope, I have it. I, I, I am mistaken. It is here. Yeah, so in Grafana, if we're looking at the same plot, I'm not sure that we are, but um, uh, on the plot that I'm looking at, on the left-hand side is degrees, um, and that corresponds to the roll and pitch, and on the right-hand side is uh, meters, um, and that mm -hmm. would be for the heave plot. Gotcha. Oh, so you can see that we took a bigger one. Oh, there went the screen uh, about two hours ago or something. Where? Sorry. <laughs> Totally. Yeah. <laughs> and this Grafana info, it can be found from the Nautilus website, right? I think so. Let's find out. I don't have it on my uh, screen. Must be a different screen. But I think so because the, the the link is like graphs.oceanexplorationtrust.org, so it has to. I think be if you go to the homepage. It's on the right side, you can get to it. Maybe. Oh, is it like under data, maybe? Yeah. Diane, if you go into this side, it's side oh. dive data, Grafana. It's like that little oh. orange sun that will give you the, the roll and the yep. pitch. Oh, it yes. Might be book, book, yeah. Stephen yeah, is we'll. correct. So if you go to nautiluslive.org on the home page, um, you will look in the right column. So you'll see something that says technology. You'll see acoustic systems, telepresence. And if you go down to the darker blue bar that has more data in white with an arrow. If you click on that, that will take you to Grafana um, if anyone wants that additional ship data. Thank you, Stephen. Uh, have we seen anything swimming around during the descent ascent watches? Well, I know Annabelle and Diane were sort of just saying they've seen mahi, sometimes mahi, right? And sometimes during um, launch and recovery. So it's kind of like right at the surface. Or yeah, right at the surface. I don't know if they've seen anything cool during like blue water. I don't think we've really seen anything big. Jellyfish or well, jellies? We've seen a few smaller little fish. Little follow. That's true. Yeah. Fish, yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. There are a bunch of jelly-like things that kind of come like shooting across the screen and That's then true. disappear. Yeah, we yeah. saw a tinafore, I think, one time in blue water. Oh. Really? Oh. Um, that was yeah. Been a long time so ago. we try and keep an eye out for what might be happening. Yeah. There is an awesome video on the Nautilus website of a sperm whale coming to check out the oh, ROVs. Oh yeah, that was from um, 2015 in the Gulf of Mexico. Yeah. That was a cool so? shot. And I think it, it like swam around them for 20 minutes or something, Megan was saying. Oh, I didn't even know the time. Yeah. yeah. I think the, the highlight is like four minutes, but um, Megan, yeah, Megan was just talking about that this morning. The video is incredible. I would encourage everyone to go check that yeah. out. I show it on like all of my interactions. I'm like, look at this. Yeah. <laughs> the kids love it.
<laughs> Google in the sky. <laughs> Can you hear me? I'm sorry. No, 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 no. You're fine. I just thought you look at the question. <laughs> I need to consult Google in the sky. Sometimes my interest is just sparked. Annabelle, do you? I am not mad. <laughs> because I was like, I would probably botch this question trying to answer it. <laughs> so I will leave that to somebody else. Yeah, I like all your research and factoids. Yes. And it's welcome, for sure. Please give it to us. <laughs> you do that, and I think there's something on the screen, like some animal to look at. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta. I always I sit there, I this put the chair as on. low and as back as possible. It's this one, there's the upper, upsy downsy, up one. I mean, move your hand up, and uh, there it is, yeah. <laughs> You can adjust the arms, and there's even the, the release to lean back on the left side. I need chair lessons. are going down 2,500 meters features. for the person wondering, uh, down to 2,500 and then um, coming up to about 1,500 meters. So I have to admit that I take the time in the blue water to mm -hmm. like poke through some of our fauna guide. Mm -hmm. It's fascinating. Right now I'm in fishes. <laughs> <laughs> as invertebrates. I mean, mostly we see invertebrates, but, you know, occasionally we do some, see some of these fishes down at the bottom. Shimmera, this one that we've seen. Mm. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what species. I don't think we identified that. Um, We've seen some eel-like fishes. We have. Sometimes Eels. I was wondering if they even had like fins for a second, but they're like all the way at the yeah. top by the head, mm -hmm. very tiny. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm like, oh, there they are. Yeah. That halosaur mm -hmm. this morning, which I keep wanting to like rhyme with dinosaur. Oh, me too. Um, that's how I remember it. Maybe we can have a factoid about the halosaur, and then I'll remember it not for that. Tell me it again. What is it? The halosaurides. Halosaur. Uh, I think I it's H-A-L-A-S-A-U-R. Say that again. H-A-L-A. Is that it? Oh, I didn't type anything. Oh, no, you did. Oh, I did. Okay, good. Maybe it's this one? Halosaur. Yeah. H A L O S A U R I D A E. That's the family. R -I -D -E. Okay, I'm on it. Yeah. In the meantime, I have someone asked a question of what's the difference between um, a sponge and a coral. And All I'm right. definitely not the most qualified person to answer this, but I consulted Google in the sky. <laughs> and um, uh, Noah has a has a little website or has a little page on sponges um, and says that they're both immobile aquatic invertebrates, um, but they're very different. They have different feeding methods and reproductive processes with different anatomy. So mm. corals are complex, many celled organisms where sponges are very simple creatures with no tissues. Mm. Um, and interestingly, all corals require salt water to survive and 
all, and most sponges are also found in the ocean, but there are also some sp some sponges that are found in fresh water and estuaries. Oh, okay. I don't think I knew that. Yeah, and then freshwater sponge. Pulling on some factoids that were shared previously, um, I guess like two cool facts. One cool fact about the the sponges that we were talking about is that some of them can be homes to these um, squat lobsters, um, mm -hmm. which we were talking about. So the squat lobsters they love them. Get a yeah. little get trapped in the in the sponges because um, they walk in when they're babies and then the they grow and they can't they can't leave the sponge but because um, the sponge is a filter feeder the squat um, squat lobsters can get their food that way and then corals some corals have a really interesting relationship with brittle stars which we talked about last time mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. so yeah I love I love thinking about these relationships between different organisms yeah me too Cool. Well, that was fun. <laughs> now let's go see some sponges. Right. <laughs> yeah, and some I corals. Know, I know. Hopefully <laughs> we shall see some. I'm sure I think we will. So. I'll be surprised if we don't. I think I get more excited to see everything the more I learn about everything. I know, like, right? Oh, that's what's going on. That's so yeah. cool. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Right. We also learned that, what it was the sponge, the bolosoma, we learned mm. that the outer edge, sort of the larger space in these rounded sponges is actually where the water is going oh, through, yes, right? right? So that's the direction, and then it goes out. The um, kind of the con the part that's concaved in is yeah, where it goes out. is where it goes mm -hmm. out. So it's using more of surface area to collect things from the water column and filter feed, and then it sh shoots out. And it also makes it less likely to be like pummeled by the current because it's not capturing all that water in the concaved area. Like a sail. Yeah. So then like a sail. Yes. We're That's a great metaphor. Yeah, I know. So I've learned <laughs> so many things. <laughs> My brain just might pop one day from all the things I get to learn. And uh, yeah, and then we go down and we see them again. And so you, you get to think about why and how and all of the different questions. That Come yes. with seeing these creatures. Yes. Yeah, special shout out to our scientists ashore who give us all these yeah. cool facts um, and more uh, in depth details a lot of the time about the animals that we're seeing. So we learn a lot from them as well. They are very helpful and we're very grateful to have them oh my on goodness. Us with us. Oh my goodness. Couldn't do it without them. <laughs> yeah. Holy cow. So we do have scientists here on the ship and then we do have. Uh, several different scientists that tune in regularly um, from all different parts of the world mm -hmm. and all different time zones and stay up late and get up early to help us I know. Um, ID. They, so late sometimes. <laughs> ID creatures as we're going along in real time. It's amazing. It's amazing to have that support and, uh, and their knowledge and expertise. Yep. Uh, 16 hours is a while. <laughs> um, this is, I think, a pretty typical time for a dive, um, but this <laughs> is actually one of our shorter dives. We just got done with two back-to-back 24-hour -back dives, I believe. Um, yeah, something so, like that. Yeah. Oh, 22. I think one it was, 22, was 22 and one and was 24. 24. You mm -hmm. know, <laughs> what's, what's two hours? Well, what's two hours? hours. Blah, blah. We're still up. Um, yeah, so this one's um, a little shorter, actually, and then I think we have had an even shorter dive earlier on in the expedition. So, yeah, this is pretty typical, but they can last longer. Uh, as you were launching earlier, uh, yes, so someone's wondering, they said they heard At Atlanta's name earlier, and they weren't familiar with that. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, yes, um, Atlanta is another ROV that we have on board, EV Nautilus. Um, Argus is also with us. It is on the ship, um, but is going through some repairs. Um, but at Atlanta is uh, capable of doing the same job that Argus does. And so um, it was determined early on in the expedition that we would use at Atlanta. Um, and so that is the name you heard. And uh, that is who is hovering over Herc and giving us those great shots and Helping uh, keep them stable and steady. 
Yeah, I think somebody said that Argus was having physical therapy or something like that. <laughs> he's in the shop, Yeah, essentially. I have a fact about the Halosaur. Halosaur, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. The All right. Halosaur the fish that we saw yeah. last night. Okay. So the Halosaur, if anyone at home wants to Google it, it's this little like eel-like looking fish um, that lives in the depth range that we were that we were at about. I think we saw it at fifteen hundred meters, maybe. Yeah, somewhere about in that range. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, and so I guess according to NOAA, um, Ocean Explorer, they had they said that they this type of fish uses a sit and wait strategy. So um, because the currents oh. can be kind of strong and they want to conserve energy, they like sit near the seafloor and they stay in place and then they ambush zooplankton or small fish um, oh. going by in the current. And so when the current speed is higher, they get more animals that they can prey on. So um, interestingly, it leads to a relationship between like the current uh -huh. and the amount of energy they need to use mm -hmm. kind of staying within that current. Oh. And also, but when that current is higher, you're getting more things coming by you. Hmm. So, so, huh. I'm going to keep going, keep going. No, 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 no tell me. So I'm, I was just curious that if we're seeing them, does that mean that we might be in an area of higher current because these mm. fish might target those areas to feed better? I, I mean, if, if, know. if they're a smart fish, they'd go for the current, right? <laughs> right. Well, well, I'm not sure because it, if, if they're in that higher current, they do need more energy. True. So okay. I think gotcha. it may, I'm, yeah, I'm not sure that that's like the direct Maybe explanation it's a, that you I could draw. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Um, Is it more of they are they are in these areas and they're waiting around for the current to get stronger? Then they find mm. that more of like opportunistic. Like, I know food's about to come by now. Let me use all my energy to try to, you know. Maybe. Or hide in an Maybe. eddy I don't, and then yeah. pop out right. if necessary. But, you know, we did see them, you know, and they would just be kind of gently, like uh -huh. their tail would just right. be sort of gently They're like autopilot, like yeah, not really exerting like a lot of energy. Yeah, almost like they were not moving. Yeah. They were just kind of just yeah, barely. Yeah, like undulating in place. It was very yeah. interesting. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah, it says that there are other fish that instead of this like sit and wait strategy, they actually drift in the current mm, to, okay. to mm. limit movement or to limit energy um, expenditures. But um, yeah, I'm not cool. sure. I'm not sure. That's interesting. So much to think about. <laughs> I mean, because when you see them, you're totally right. You yeah. see them and they're like barely moving. Yeah, I know. It's like, like we are able to track them sometimes for a yeah. while versus other fish that yeah. just yeah. dart and they're mm -hmm. gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So hmm. it's also why I think always from a far distance, we kind of think they're an eel because they just, <laughs> that back yeah. part is yeah. just very eel like. And we're like, is, no, no, it's fish. <laughs> <laughs> like, Where are the fins? <laughs> All right, the halosaur. All right. I feel good about it. Eels are fish, though. Oh. What? Well, there you go. <laughs> what, it, what did you say? Eels are eels, not fish? Eels are fish. Eels are said, fish. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. We could come back to the eel conversation. Is it a non-eel fish? There we go. I think they're in the <laughs> eel-like no. fish eel -like category. Fish. <laughs> and then there's a category of eel fish. <laughs> eels. Eel, but eels are fish. But underneath so eel fish. fish. <laughs> yes. So know. cutthroat eels, eels. Yeah. So. I love oh, garden fish. eels. They're cute. They are eel-like. Garden eels. Garden eels. They look like a little garden. Have you never seen them? I love them. Are they shallow water eels? Yeah, they don't. I don't think they're as oh, deep. I don't, uh -uh. <laughs> I don't like things that stick out, that stick <laughs> out like, of the sand. I really don't they like spin, things like that. <laughs> they spend most of their lives burrowed halfway or all the way, and they just kind of like little pieces of grass. How big garden are they? Garden eels. They're okay. really are they really small? Because the more eels do that, and I really, it was yeah. freaking out. They just sit and they wait. They're very slender, very tiny. Oof. They remind me of like a garden snake, which are like also really, she's like, look, that's not any better. I don't like snakes. <laughs> Sorry, Annabelle. That's probably not a great um comparison. This one's pretty, I guess. <laughs> it has a nice spotted, oh, they're spotted. Okay, that's cool.
So there was a question about what um, samples are taken uh, with the ROVs and stored in the ship. Um, so we t and what types of sa types of samples? So we take um, rock samples for geology purposes for dating. We're trying to date the seamounts, um, and then we also take rock samples for microbial analysis. Uh, trying to understand the relationship between microbes and the rocks down here. Um, and then we also take a bunch of biology samples of things that scientists are interested in. And we store them on the ship um, for a few weeks, and then um, they'll be shipped out, which Diane <laughs> is the master, master at. So she will <laughs> sample shipper. Yes, okay, yes, she will do all of the amazing behind-the-scenes work to get <laughs> to get the samples where they need to go. Wow, thank you. Yeah, it, it is a team though. So yeah, <laughs> it will be all of us packing. Um, but yes, there's a lot of paperwork that goes into it and um, making sure that they're categorized properly, shipped properly, packed properly, all of those things. And that, yes, if there are any chemicals involved that we meet all the regulations and so on in, in, in the shipment. So mm. yeah, that will be a process there at the end. Um, hopefully we've got, well, we've got a couple of days of transit that we can probably handle some Get of some that. packing. Yeah. yeah, do some packing. It might be a... Yeah. If you guys need some help, let us know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll I'll take pack it. samples. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we will take it. Can I ask a further packaging question? Absolutely. So you were saying a little bit ago that the rock samples are easier because there's no biological specimen. Yep. Permit-wise, permit -wise. most of the time, geology is easier. Caveat. Keep going with your question. Okay. <laughs> so I guess my question was like, what is in a bio permit, and what, like, what are, what can you ship, what can't you ship? Yeah. Um, Etc. Typically, live samples would be the hardest then anything that is not preserved would be second hardest. So let's say like uh, you're working on a bird project, feathers, eggs, things like that, or eggshells or something like that would be difficult to ship because it could have parasites. It could have mm -hmm. different, um, can I say microbes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to give them a bad name because no. not all, all, all microbes are infectious and so on. Um, but yeah, it, they could ha they could carry other things with them. Uh -huh. um, uh, and so that's how you might get non-native species introduced into other parts of the world. So USDA is usually the department that will grant permits for that. Okay. Um, so if you do ship a, uh, a sample like that, feathers or whatever, your responsibility is then to handle them properly and to dispose mm -hmm. of them properly, which mm -hmm. usually means to burn them. Mm -hmm. oh. So <laughs> at the end of your process, oh. like once mm -hmm. you've done all of your science, either frozen or burned, something mm -hmm. like that, to um, get rid of any parasites that might be on those. Um, I don't know if that was the original question. I think I took a tangent. <laughs> no, that was... But, you know. That was great. No, my I guess my follow-up question is, um, with the samples that we'll collect here that aren't necessarily... I mean, none of them are bird samples. Um, yeah, right. And all of them so are things coming from, from the deep sea, from like mm -hmm. these in, this environment that's not similar to our environment, are there, mm -hmm. are there strict um, regulations on how these corals can be shipped or is it pretty loose? Mm. So most of our biological samples are in ethanol. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So those are then preserved, which has come into a different category. Okay. In a sense of we wouldn't be introducing something into the environment because the ethanol would kill that. Okay. Essentially. Um, if they were dried, it's a little different. Okay. But of course we are just in the U.S. Hawaii does have some very um, specific restrictions uh -huh. uh, about what comes in to Hawaii more so than goes out of okay. Hawaii. So that's my general understanding of Interesting. Yeah, how, how things are going to get shipped. Cool. Well, I look forward to seeing that process through. Yeah. I can't believe it's It is already something you will deal with throughout your career mm -hmm. as a scientist is how and when and where and what are the regs. So mm. I look it forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good to know they're at least there. And then hopefully yeah. there's somebody to, to like help you, like guide you through that process. But yeah. Yeah. I can't believe it's been an hour. 
I know. I, 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 I like looked up. We've one both already learned like facts of the halosaur. Yeah. We've learned facts of sponges and uh, sponges and corals. Yep. Uh, Talking about eels a these, little bit. These eels. Garden eels. <laughs> the garden eel. Wow. I mean, my goodness. This we're almost good blue the water time. <laughs> no, we're not. We're at a thousand meters. So <laughs> yeah. but, we still have um, hope. That's away. it. Went quick. So yeah. we've got another 1,500 meters to go before we reach the seafloor and hopefully get underway with our survey. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, that first 1,000 meters went pretty quick. <laughs> it did. So yeah, yeah so. you're going to hear some new voices come on here in a moment. It is our little shift break so for that dinner? we can run off and get some dinner. Mm -hmm. Some folks uh, come up and relieve us for about a half hour. Welcome, Val. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Val's had a long day. We won't put her on the spot too quickly, uh, but uh, it's been a busy one, a busy, busy cruise. We've gotten a lot of great rock samples for mm -hmm. some of her work, um, and uh, happy to have her up here in the van with us. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess before I switch yeah. out, someone's wondering how are the biological samples handled on the ship? So that depends, right? Some are frozen, some are. Not. Most are <laughs> preserved in ethanol, yes. We have a few that are frozen. Uh, some are dried. And some are in formalin. A couple are in formalin. So, I think that's all the... Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Had to think through it for a second. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, lots of different ways we archive these materials. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. indeed. Yep. Uh-huh. I really hope there's some more of that like roast beef for lunch left over. It was really good. <laughs> oh, was it? <laughs> yes, it was really good. I didn't good. try it. I, I tried the try curry. <laughs> oh, mm. I was completely dead to the world. Oh, until were you lunch sleeping? I, yeah. <laughs> you should. I was up you for were, a long time yeah. yesterday. You had uh, a long, long day. It was fun. Good. I know. Good. I have good. to come help you cut rocks at some point now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, so we have a, a rock saw on board. It's on the back deck um, where Val can cut open some of her rocks and um, get a little idea of what we have collected and maybe just a snapshot of um, what's happening down there at these various tides. Yeah, so it also helps speed up um, selection of things like subsamples that are going out to various universities for mm. uh, geochemical and age determination work. So yeah. we can we can get some, some of those uh, preliminary selections made while we're still on board instead of uh, uh, having to go through uh, the repository once that's all uh, cataloged there. Mm. So yes. I'm cataloging everything that gets cut, everything that gets subsampled, uh, doing descriptions, photos of everything I do to these rocks so that we have as complete a record as possible uh, for anybody else who is, uh, you know, maybe interested in doing some work on these rocks. Mm. So tell me, is it fun to use the rock saw? It is. Ah! <laughs> I want to try it. I out know, me time, too. Do right? I have to? Do we need to have training before we can use the rock saw? Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> like absolutely no yeah. fingers. Cut, yeah, to be cut, cut. cutting rocks <laughs> is, uh, you know, there's there's a little bit of technique there, and just you have to be extremely careful. Yeah. Um, and maybe we won't start with Val's precious samples. Exactly. Give us like start with a rock like, that you're you like, know, oh, this like, one wasn't that great. Yeah. And we can't cut that one. <laughs> Hi, Justin. Welcome. Thank you. Well, if we pick up another hyaloclast type <laughs> potato, uh, we can work on that one. Okay, great. <laughs> when the waves aren't rolling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, that's an added layer. Uh, that's like rocks on hard mode is uh, when you're cutting rocks on a moving ship. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. That has been really fun. I, I'm kind of the backup safety yeah. <laughs> switch turter otter with Val and I'm, get I'm to learn so a lot. I'm so appreciative of this. Like the mother hen and me just needs <laughs> someone there with Val just just because. <laughs> like, and and maybe that's offensive, but I just can't help it. No, it's it's not it's not an issue at all. In fact, it's better to have somebody, um, you know, kind of keeping an eye on you while you're doing this stuff because we're out at sea and we're not near anywhere. So. Um, and even little problems can very quickly become big problems when you're far away from the normal support infrastructures that we that we kind of take for granted when we're at home. Yeah, we're so. ways out. How far are we still? Like, I've kind of lost track, but yeah, thank you. Yeah, that's a good question. Well, 
the Northwesterns are about 1,200 miles. Okay. And we're probably about two thirds out, I would guess. Yeah. Maybe even three quarters. From the Hawaiian Islands. Yeah. Yeah. So. Maybe far, far away. Yeah. 900, 1,000 miles. That seems fair. <laughs> Something like that. Let's say right from now. Oahu, maybe. Yeah. 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 So we're a ways from, yeah, any sort of. Anything. Definitive care. <laughs> any yeah, sort we of anything. <laughs> <laughs> anything. <laughs> any sort yeah. of civilization, let's put it that way. Yeah. The bonus for me, of course, is I get to look at every cut. She's explaining uh, to me. I know. I'm so jealous of that. I got to I see know. him last night. She took me on a little tour, and man, they are beautiful. I know. If I can't cut, I'm going to just beautiful. stand in the corner and look. <laughs> I thought you were works. talking about figuring out some sort of little sharing of your samples at some point, I think. Yeah, we've had um, we've had a number of the crew members interested in seeing what uh, the rocks actually look like on the inside, because when we bring them up on deck, uh, there's not a lot that you can see because uh, they're almost all of them are coated in at least a, like a millimeter of uh, manganese crust, mm -hmm. and they just look like these big dark colored lumps that are coming up <laughs> uh, in the bio boxes. Yeah. So yeah. It's also that also makes it a little bit of a surprise because you're not entirely sure what you're gonna what you're gonna get each time. Sometimes you can tell based on how the rock is shaped or mm -hmm. uh, kind of hard to describe, but. Kind of how it feels when you pick it up. Sometimes you know if it's like a good or a bad rock <laughs> uh, for for some of the geochemistry that we want to do. So um, yeah, some things you can kind of predict. Other things you get completely taken by surprise by. Huh. Or taken by surprise. Yes. A good or a bad rock. I know. That's what I'm just. You know, like, for, but you know, for what we're trying to look at, I you know, wow. And, mm -hmm. and you know, even the so-called bad rocks, they still give a very good idea um, of, you know, what kind of uh, geochemical profiles we might be able to expect from mm -hmm. these rocks, too. So just looking at them, getting an idea of their texture, what sort of crystals are uh, formed in them, and, uh, you know, like vesicles, stuff like that. So there's still a lot of really valuable um, information in some rocks that might not be suitable for some of the, uh, uh, some of the chemical stuff that we want to uh, mm -hmm. check out with them. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Thanks for that. Yeah, maybe we can uh, schedule a little show and tell. A little. Yeah, uh, we'll have to figure out when to do that. For crew and and so we might on. be able to work with Megan to get some of that on uh, social media too at some mm -hmm. point. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah, that'd be great. I think uh, the video crew would probably be interested in at least I'd getting like that a have little fun with that. <laughs> if Diane, you're down for it. Yep. When would be a good time to? observe slash minimally help with sample processing with you guys Ooh. can i just stand outside the door you can totally come and help okay. you know uh <laughs> this uh dive we're supposed to be the last uh crew on board i don't know if you've got interactions with classrooms that's in true the morning, let me check but you are work. welcome in the morning <laughs> at eight we're going to be you know out there taking samples as soon as Herc comes up so oh no it's coming up at 8 a.m again yep. yes it no. is i know can, i know we can <laughs> help you with yeah. that but uh i know you are excited and want to see the rocks and it, it's okay if, if, if I'm pretty dead by four. I, I'll trust. I'll trust you guys to get the rocks in the buckets. <laughs> <laughs> I know you like to make some initial like. Uh, oh, I can do that any time. I'm still catching up on this morning's uh, uh, processing. Okay. So I'm moving some rocks from a previous dive uh, that are more or less dry into sample bags so they can be uh, uh, stowed away, and then uh, and, you know just verifying photos, description records, stuff like that, and then. Uh, starting to uh, get some of those basic measurements done on the rocks we pulled in this morning. So uh, getting getting a weight for them, getting you know a rough idea of their dimensions, uh, getting some additional photos in the lab of what they look like before I cut them open mm -hmm. so that we can compare those with uh, like uh, the still images uh, from when the ROV collected them. Mm -hmm. So nice. we have multi-step process to verify that you know what we picked up um, the ROV, you know, we, we document at the time the ROV picks things up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, we document where exactly it's sitting in one of the sample bins in the ROV. And then we can uh, confirm that again once we get them on board. So uh, that, that uh, minimizes uh, any risks of getting samples uh, mm -hmm. mixed up and potentially giving us um, important information that isn't um, from the right part of the volcano. Uh, mm -hmm. So yeah, we want to avoid uh, 
you know, having that redundancy kind of built into the whole workflow when we process these samples is uh, pretty critical to making sure that, you know, we're, uh, we're getting the right idea about um, what these volcanoes are doing. Got it. That Got makes it. sense. Yeah. That makes yep. sense, yep. Don't mix up your samples. Yep. Yeah. It happens quicker than you think, too. Like, you're like, oh, I know this rock. And then, like, you go pick <laughs> up another one and another one. And pretty soon you're like, uh. <laughs> yeah, that's that's why we're pretty meticulous yeah. about uh, yep. getting whatever metadata we can down about these uh, as soon as as soon as we can when, you know, we take some sort of action with that rock. Yep. And that's why we you'll see sometimes when we're actually collecting the rock on the seafloor, you'll you'll see that the Herc pilot will pause for a moment when we have the rock in the grabber. We actually taking some still photos of those rocks so that hopefully we can match when they come up and we're taking them into the labs and we have like a positive like ID on that rock. So yep. yep. And so far that's been. Uh, not even an issue. Good. You know, all Let's the rocks look way. distinct. Uh, they've all been put into places where, uh, you know, it's easy to make notes about what they are and uh, easy to figure out what's what. So we've been doing a really good job with that, I think. Good. Let's let's keep that up. Yep. So on 12 to 4 this morning, if you weren't uh, with us, we had a pretty fun time uh, <laughs> getting that dive wrapped up. Um, not just because it was pretty much three hours of giggle fest until uh, all of us started uh, getting pretty tired. And then they, it, it dropped off slightly, but there's still a lot of fun to be had. We did actually see a pretty big octopus. Oh yeah. Yeah, we drove right over, uh, right, right over, and got some beautiful footage. It was just like hanging out on the rock there, and uh, nice. you know, we said hello and moved on. Yeah. What looked, color? Looked, what? What is it? It's kind what? of a pale pink color. Huh? It looked like the Dumbo octopus. Oh. Yeah, with the, with the I've heard. on its head. I don't I've remember heard. The, uh, yeah, that people said it was Dumbo. Aww. From what Dumbo. I've heard. Dumbo. Yeah. I was just looking at cephalopods. So sometimes while I'm in blue water, I look at these guides. Let's 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 poke around at cephalopods. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't remember what Lila ID it as. Mm. That actually looks like it, Justin. Yeah, right here. So the yeah, kind of the common name is Dumbo octopus. But let me check. Yeah, it's kind of unusual to find uh, uh, an octopus is this deep. You know, they're there, but we just don't see them that often. That's so cool. I know. I have to go check the highlight on that. I one. know. I didn't get a chance earlier. Because I was dead to the world. <laughs> Twelve to four. Good. Mm. <laughs> Does that sound right? Do you remember what she said? This they're um, naming it as uh, Grimpothusus species. I don't really yeah, recall, I can't recall at this what point. she said. It this little was. guy? No. Yeah, no. I, think, I think that was sort one that was pretty up. close. This one's a little closer. I think that yeah, I remember Lila pulled that up. What is it? Yeah, Grimpothusus. Those are the same thing. Okay. Yeah. I think just different color mm -hmm. balances. Yeah. Ours had a lot more of that purpley pinkish color yeah. versus the orangey pink. Yeah. And that sort of a like spotting up at shifted the. Shifted a little green blue, so that might not be the true color. <gasps> I hope to see one. I really do. It was pretty cool. I it just was sort of hanging out. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I'm sure it'll be up. That's I'm sure exciting. it was logged as like a five, hopefully, <laughs> on a highlight. Yeah. Okie doke. I'm going to go turn this back over to Beth for the rest of her shift. And well, thanks, uh, yeah, I'll be back on at uh, midnight. Yep. Thanks, Val. Thanks. You're welcome. I'm glad I heard her voice, Val's voice over the SBL down in the lounge because I had totally lost track of time. These, <laughs> these 24 hour dives just I throw know. me. It's really easy to do. Like I, I was just saying earlier, it's becoming a blur of like when things actually happened. Like I remember seeing the thing, but I can't quite place. Was it yesterday or mm -hmm. was it a week Whoa. ago? So Shelby, it's about a two hour descent, is that right? Yep, just about. Um, we're trying to get to 2,500 meters, so we have a little 
while to go. Yeah. A little bit I, to go. If I remember yeah. correctly, that this is one of our deeper dives so far, isn't it? Did I we think go? we had one other dive 20, around this same like depth. That. Yeah. Um, so, but definitely one of the deeper ones. Yes. But I believe we're going to go to about three thousand. If we go to Nunca Seamount, I believe. I heard um, that. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, really? yeah. Okay. That'll be even more blue water time, depending on who <laughs> is. Uh, <laughs> depending better on who get, is. Uh, <laughs> gotta get our stories good. Gotta yeah. Get the, right. I need more. I guess I'm better trivia. bring your best puns. I know. <laughs> Story time. I'm just going to read a chapter of a book. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm what kind was of, I'm the excited. kid's book that um, we should get a copy of? It, it was uh, one that Trevor was recommending this morning, I thought. Oh, yeah. I'm sure Robos, you could tell us again. Robos something i wrote it down it's somewhere deep we in should this read it on here i list. feel like it might be like a good yeah. blue water thing to do i saw some footage of some of the uh science communication fellows on past voyages okay. uh, or expeditions um re like recorded reading a book as well oh. i wonder maybe there's going to be some like kind of younger student nice videos up with that or something that would be cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Megan Cook would know better, of course. Okay. Robos and the Underwater Volcano was the title. Oh. Uh, we were kind of going around the room and saying, you know, what were some of the marine biology, deep sea biology right. books or mm -hmm. things like that mm -hmm. that have inspired you in, in your career or your path or something like that? And one of them was this kid's book. So oh. I don't know if it's on board or if we can download it or if someone has it, but... Yeah. Maybe, maybe like we a can have a reading. Snippet mm -hmm. online somewhere, maybe. Yeah. yeah. I'm excited for this dive just because it's going to be so different. We're we're going to be covering a thousand yeah. meters of ascent over the course of this. Like dive, much I think. shorter. Yeah, two point four kilometers. Uh, so I think yeah. And going pretty steeply up. Right. Right. So I wonder what we're going to see. Yeah. Always curious about that. Mm -hmm. It does feel good to be moving deeper into uh, Papahana Mokua Camry National Monument. And yeah. Our, our weather is <laughs> treating us better. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, it was it rough is. On the way you in, feel more at home. <laughs> yeah. It was rougher on the way in for sure. Yeah, we got chased all the way north outside of the boundaries for a. Just yeah. a couple dives, a yeah. few days. And my stomach was not happy. Yeah, Woo. me either. At all. No, I hate that. <laughs> <sighs> Justin, would you mind to introduce yourself? Oh, to sure, our yeah. Shift? You know, just a little tidbit about you and yeah, my, why my you're name excited is to be in the Papahano Mokoakea National Monument. Yeah, so my name is Justin Umholtz, and uh, I'm a guest educator sitting in the back in the science row. And I actually work for Papahanao Mokuakea Marine National Monument uh, as an educator at our discovery center called Moku Papapa Discovery Center, located in Hilo, Hawaii. So uh, this is a, a rare opportunity for me. Um, I'm very home based there, but uh, did come out in 2018 uh, for uh, actually when Leela did her first. Okay. Uh, data, data science internship. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Um, nice. I get, yeah, I get to just sort of <laughs> learn from all these amazing people around me and uh, figure out how to bring it home and just make it come alive. Nice. There's so many different stories to share and interpret yeah. about this Marine National Monument. It's an amazing mm -hmm. place, not only uh, protected within the, as a Marine National Monument within the United States, but also recognized and inscribed as a dual World Heritage Site, uh, UNESCO World Heritage Site. Oh. Yeah. Uh, one of the only one in the United States and one of the few in the world that are uh, acknowledged for both the cultural and uh, natural resources or yep. ecological significance. Yeah, that was fascinating. Justin gave us a, a overview. We call them little science talks mm -hmm. on our transit out here to begin our sampling. Um, so we got uh, a lecture from Val about the geology. We got one from Justin. We got one from Beth, etc. But yeah, it was fascinating to learn like the history of this area in terms of like w like how it became a monument and why. Yeah, and every organization or every um, 
person that is going to go into the monument through a permit uh, actually goes also through a cultural briefing and mm -hmm. I just wanted to say this they put a lot of work into updating yeah. that and this the one that they I do. saw for this trip was really stellar mm -hmm. uh, very rich yeah so I'm excited to see you know we always trying to do better in, in um, kind of making sure that the, the whole I guess all of the different pieces of Papa mm -hmm. are, are acknowledged and honored and uh, yeah. celebrated. There's some really talented people on our team that are doing, are making it happen. Yep, absolutely. And yeah, that was an interesting process for me. Like I have never done work in this area. So yeah, learning about the culture and the history and yeah, fascinating, so much more to learn. For sure. Yeah. So uh, if you haven't already heard of National Mar the Office of National Marine Sanctuaries, uh, it's a, a line office within uh, NOAA's uh, National Ocean Service. And uh, <laughs> we are part of that larger system. So if you go to sanctuaries.noaa.gov, you can actually see a map of all of the uh, different uh, amazing marine and Great Lakes waters that are protected under this system and uh i think i'll leave it at that because annabelle just tapped me back for uh <laughs> <laughs> coming back in thanks I'll justin yeah, appreciate you i'll your see input. you all at midnight all righty hello i know twice in a day special guest appearance Jess and Kylie, are you guys up there? Yeah. Oh, I just tried your ice cream. Sorry, what was that? I just tried your ice cream. <laughs> How'd it nice go? Nice job. We put some <laughs> chocolate sauce on it. It was very good. They, they tried our ice cream. <laughs> I'm so impressed that you made it. No, it was Kylie and I. It was a joint effort of uh, shaking up a jug. <laughs> Jess was the... Um, the chef and I was the sous chef. <laughs> <laughs> well, nice job. Was, uh, she did the recipe and I only helped <laughs> agitate it. I have a strength for that. <laughs> <laughs> I just sat there and insulted it for four minutes. <laughs> Are you talking about the ice cream? Yes. <laughs> Agitation <laughs> is the key. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I'm glad you guys liked it. Yeah, we should maybe try perfecting the recipe. Here. <laughs> this is all based on Google and uh, <laughs> five minutes on Google yesterday. I can't, I can't catch up. Yeah, I'm, I'm slowing down. Sorry. <laughs> Give me in line here, Kylie. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Somebody uh, commenting on the expedition name, Lu'ua Ea Ahike Kekumu here. Um, and if you are practicing your pronunciation of those, check out the gallery page and the What is in an Expedition Name blog. And within there, there are actually hyperlinks of the recorded pronunciations um, by members of the cultural working group. So you can slow them down and you can listen to them and uh, the trick is there are no silent letters in the Hawaiian language, so don't skip any syllables there as you make your way through. I'm going faster than you. The recordings were super helpful when I was yeah when I was learning them. I also am on a 76 day streak of Duolingo a little Hawaii, which has been wow. fantastic. So, you know, just a little like another so shout out cool. for people who are excited about language or interested in learning it. Free way to get familiar with uh, some words in the Hawaiian language. That is awesome. 76 day streak. Nice job. Thanks.
But if you have questions for the team, it's a great time to ask them as we are descending. Uh, headed down to 2,500 meters. We're 17-ish hundred of the way there. Beth, do you want to describe Loudon Seamount a little bit, like its its shape or size? Was that a question to me? Sorry. Yeah, if you'd like to. Um, yeah, so uh, Loudon Seamount is the furthest south on the western fork of the Liliokalani Ridge. It's a rather large flat top geo type seamount. We are going to be diving on a very steep ridge, um, almost like a cliff, on the southwestern end of that seamount. How big is it across the top? Or Lynette, could you maybe help with that? Um, I don't know the answer to that question. Working on zooming out here. Amazing, thank you. Yep. If you're watching on channel three or if you're on YouTube and want to click over to nautiluslive.org where you can watch three different channels, um, you can see the uh, planning view that Lynette is using to actually answer this question. Ooh. And this is an interesting, like, flattened side spur. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, here's sort of a ridge that we're going up. And what was the question? Oh, I'm just wondering um, if you give some, like, dimensions on this uh, feature. Like, oh. how big is, how far how wide is this email? Okay. <laughs> the whole sea mount's about 10. More, more than 10 kilometers across. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, 13 kilometers across. Okay. And it's a lot tall, like longer. Um, almost 30 kilometers. It's huge. Wow. And what is the depth change from the purple to the red? Mm. Good question. Deep to um, shallow. That scale is not in this software, so I'm not quite sure. Looking okay. at a little bit earlier, um, I think the, the base, the, the base purple is about 5,400 meters, and I think the summit is something like 15. Well, 4,000. The summit's got to be taller than 15, because we're only going up to 15. Oh, right. true. And yeah, there's a ways to go above that. Yeah, it was it was in the scale is in the dive plan one, but I can't. Oh Let's yeah, see. 1200. Our 1200 dive track for the shallow is yeah onto the surface. Can I see craft, please. Thank you. Cool. Thanks. All right, science team, someone would like to know what species we're expecting to find and hoping to find when we head down to 2,500 meters. Well, I could do expecting. Okay. <laughs> Paragorgia. <laughs> what else you got? That sounds like hoping. Oh. Crinoids? Victor sure. Gorgia. Yeah. 
Good one. This, this is all coming from non-scientists. I just want front the world to know. Front row is <laughs> species ID. Front row is getting really Double good at species octopus. ID. Yeah, expecting to see. Hoping. Uh, hoping. Mm -hmm. Wishful. Mm -hmm. The last few dives have been really dominated by Hemicrallium precious corals, uh, golden corals, Chrysogorgia. Minus. Um, primnoids, some, some fans. Fan primnoids. Uh, did I already say bamboo coral, maybe? Uh, some what candelabra else? corals. Yeah, those are the, the primnoids. Mm -hmm. There's also some bamboos that are sort of candelabra shaped. Um, Swiftia, so we've had a couple of times. Enemies. Swiftia plexorid coral corals that are the red ones with the yellowy polyps. Um, I like the fish. I would like to yes, see Halosaur. Halosaurus rex. Yes. It's one of my favorite. We were just talking about Halosaurus. Yeah? Yeah. We were sharing some fun facts. Oh, yeah? Tell us some. Um, Thank you for asking. <laughs> <laughs> You've been waiting. Um, well, everyone who's watching, I've j I just t told this, these facts, so y you probably have heard them. But um, we were talking about its like feeding strategy, okay, and how it's like a kind of an opportunistic feeder that waits in the current, um, mm -hmm. like kind of stays in a similar place, and then as food comes by, it eats it. But depending on, like, if it's a high current, then the, the fish is going to be using more energy, but then also has higher likelihood of eating things because right. more things are coming through. And so that was an interesting dynamic that we talked about. Got to weigh the options mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we were talking about how, like, every time we see one, it does kind of look like it's just barely, barely moving um, until we come up close to it. So that was my fun fact. Very cool. Yeah, it's fun as you're going here to when you see the same kinds of fish or other species to start looking them up mm -hmm. and better understanding how they live and what their feeding strategies are. It makes you appreciate more what you're looking at. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I had that same experience with Chana Cops yesterday. Chana. So Chana Cops, if you haven't seen a Chana Cops, click on the gallery tab, look at the yawning, adorable Chana Cops. Uh, Cody Cody yawning, yawning back here. Right. Um, <laughs> turns out Chana cops, also an ambush predator. Mm. Also, like, stay put. And, you know, if you're an ambush predator, you're really in the game of be staying as stable as possible. Like Anne will just describe. Otherwise, you're not super sneaky. And uh, it turns out they have this, like, breathing technique where they take these big, giant gulping breaths, and they think they take them maybe at, in the order of, like, 20 minutes at a time, that they then, like, h hold onto these big breaths and Whoa. cycle the oxygen through their gills in that manner. Um, which is really different than like a, a fish that you'd expect to see like their gill plates moving. That's so cool. Leela, what was that th thing called? It's completely out of my brain, but it was my favorite organism we've seen. It's like the <laughs> the sea dandelion. Mm. Thank you. Yes, oh. that was cool. I was looking at those pictures while writing the last dive report. Mm -hmm. Those were really pretty. Now you have an answer for when people are like, "What's your favorite thing that we've I seen know. on this cruise?" That's what I said this morning. Was my favorite thing. Although I have so many favorite things. I don't know. I know. Picking just one is so hard. It's allowed to change every time you answer the question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Keep people guessing. Exactly, exactly. Some votes for squat lobsters. So we have some folks excited about watch seeing squat lobster when we get down there. Maybe some sea stars. Mm. You know, I uh, really know. These are, as I heard, like a massive ancient volcano. Um, guessing in the ballpark of 75 to 100 million years old, but that's part of what we're doing is heading down there to uh, collect rock samples and assess um, what we can learn about the formation of this area. I'd say there's a pretty high likelihood we'll see some squatties. Probably. And sea stars. I like the ones that look like sugar cookies. They are my favorite. 
Which ones are those? Are they the with, whiter ones? With the little plates around the outside. Mm. I think their uh, the common name is Cookie Star. I realize that's Oh, oh, oh. I was, mm -hmm. I'm trying to picture squat lobsters. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> star. I, yeah. I don't see it, but okay. <laughs> yeah. I think my favorite are the slime stars. Mm -hmm. Like the pink ones. The oh. hymenaster. Love those. Yeah, There's a really research lumpy. lab that I work at, and they there are shallow water slime stars, and um, they are really difficult to keep in the research lab because like any disruption, any like oh. moving the water mm -hmm. jet, anything, they just like gush out all of this slime and then you have to like take them out and flush the tank and like clean them out. So um, it's a very effective strategy. It's their defense messy. strategy? Mm -hmm. Okay. What is it? It's a shoot. They, they just like excrete slime. <laughs> um, different mechanism than like a um, hagfish does, uh -huh. like it, but same kind of style. Like somebody comes to eat you, you're just gonna like pump out all this gross slime, and so they will be dissuaded from their idea. I of am eating. gross. Yeah, I am running away. <laughs> yeah. What's interesting is I was looking up Dumbo octopus facts, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they don't have an ink sac. A what? An, an egg sac. In ink. Ink sac. Like they don't have ink that they mm. shoot out. The theory is they don't have enough predators. That's interesting. Yeah. So the slime star. Maybe some predators. <laughs> what eats? Because it looks like a. I have no Slime idea. Fish, probably. <laughs> Help us, scientists ashore. Yeah. Help us. <clears throat> All right, Leela, here's a question for you. Okay. Um, what are the criteria for collecting samples? Like, what needs to be met something. for us to know that we want to get it? Sure. Um, well, in the monument, we're looking for things that haven't been collected before, e either ever or in the monument. Um, and so they would serve as sort of voucher specimen for this area uh, or, or in general as like the first collection of that organism. And then they'll go to the Museum of Comparative Zoology and from and that's a repository uh, at Harvard where we uh, OET keeps our biological samples. And from there, taxonomists and scientists can um, either look at those, uh, the whole organisms, or we also preserve little sections uh, in 95% ethanol that can, where the DNA can be extracted, and they can analyze them genetically. Um, yeah, so that's, that. those are the criteria, and and that's what we do with them. And if, if there's, we have certain rules about collection too, if there are less than 10 of them, or if we can't figure out how many there are, we can only take one organism. Um, if there are more than 10, you can take up to three, but generally we're only taking one. And if it's a coral or a sponge colony, then we, we don't want to take the whole organism. We're only taking up to about a third or half of, of that um, colony. Yeah. And that's both conservative and practical. Like yeah. these corals and sponges are hula hoop size, bigger, yeah, you know, so really big, big as Hercules. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks for all the questions coming in. There are some great ones. Beth, do you want to talk about what you look for in a rock? Because you have sort of different uh, search criteria for your samples as well. Uh, yeah, so we are interested in understanding the microbial communities that live on rocks on the seafloor, as well as the mineral composition of the ferromanganese crust that precipitate on the outside of rocks, um, and whether there's a connection between those two. <clears throat> um, we also are somewhat limited in what we're going to collect. We, um, there are billions of rocks on the seafloor <laughs> that we could choose from. Uh, so our search parameters are more limited by environmental data. So. Um, we generally try to collect two samples per dive. Um, sometimes our strategy is just to start at the deepest depth and then get another one at the shallowest depth. But we're also mindful of the oxygen concentrations of the water um, and trying to target different concentrations so that we can understand the importance of oxygen in structuring the microbial communities as well as the minerals that precipitate. So those are the two things we're mainly looking for in deciding. And then once we're in a zone, either by depth and or oxygen, 
then we're looking for rocks of a certain size. We don't want them to be too big because then they don't fit in the bio box and they're very difficult to handle in the lab. We're looking for things that look highly altered, but that are still on an original igneous material as opposed to a chunk of sediment or a chunk of carbonate, but it's very difficult to tell because almost everything down here is covered in a manganese crust. Is that what you mean by highly altered? Um, not necessarily. Um, the igneous material, we might want to either... Um, uh, igneous materials that have been altered on the seafloor by seawater interactions um, and or that have relatively thick ferromanganese crust on them, which is not a sign of alteration, but a sign of the precipitation of those minerals out of the water column. Anyway, so sometimes we do like a squish test. Um, if the sample is really crumbly, then that's maybe not the one we want because that's probably precipitated on a chunk of sediment um, as opposed to precipitated on an igneous material. One of our ROV pilots loves the um, taxonomic definition of squishy crunchy mm -hmm. as a way to determine the animals, but it's on, you know, squishy, squishy crunchy is, sounds like a rock taxonomy as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, our, the one we've commonly been using on this expedition is that the rocks that Val is interested in are generally more angular mm -hmm. um, because that's maybe an indication that they have broken off somewhat more recently on the seafloor and haven't become rounded by the long-term precipitation of these ferromanganese crusts, whereas I don't necessarily need things that are angular. Rounded is good for me. Solid. Hello to folks all over the world with us right now. It's getting a little late in uh, North America, but Happy to have folks from the United States, Canada, Australia, UK, Taiwan, New Zealand here with us. University of South Queensland's greenhouse team is here. Uh, thanks for tuning in and being here on descent. We're headed to 2,500 meters. Um, they are at 2,100 right now, so on our way down to the seabed, um, getting closer. Uh, the question of if we ever exchange or eject our samples, we don't. That's part of the decision where we want to be really careful about what we pick in the first time. Um, but once something is on board, uh, we are we are going to bring that back. Um, it's also about you know making sure we leave things in place in the place that they are, and also as part of our um, just proceeding really respectfully as we are here in the Wahikuna of the Native Hawaiian people in Papahanaumokuakea, both operating in our in our permit regulations, but also you know with a deep sense of, of respect and um, appreciation for the opportunity to work in this really precious place. Annabelle, can you answer those questions? Someone wants to know how do you extract microbes from the crust of a rock? Yeah, so um, I work for Beth, so um, she was just talking about uh, rocks and them being kind of altered on the inside, but having this manganese, sometimes being altered on the inside, but having these manganese crusts on the outside, and so... Um, Are we talking like, I'm like, let's break it down all the way to the analogy. We're talking like cake and frosting on the outside, two different types of rock, like uh, an original rock and then a different new type of rock on the outside? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, great analogy. Um, so we're only interested in the frosting. Okay. So basically what we do is we bring, so the rocks get picked up by the ROV and they get put into a bio box, which is this box on Hercules um, mm -hmm. that kind of fills with water and then they put a rock in. And so actually the bio box that we use for our samples maintains temperature a little bit better, which is really important for, for the microbial samples. You want everything to be kept at um, kind of the same temperature. The, for example, the sponge or the star samples that maybe matters a little bit less. So we we bring them we bring them up and we take them into the into the lab and we use like a chisel and a hammer to kind of try and get that frosting layer off um, of like the cake. And once we get 
typically they, they break off in these big pieces. So you get these big pieces where sometimes you can actually see the difference between the frosting and, and the and the cake, which is really cool when you break it off. So then you have the frosting and you put it into like a mortar or pestle type of thing and you grind it up really small and then we freeze them in different ways. Amazing, thank you for that explanation. All right, dinner leaves over. Back, back to your regularly scheduled Shelby program and watch taking over. Have a great dive, everybody. Thanks for coming along. Bye, Megan. Thanks for coming. Now I have to ask, what you <laughs> frosting cake? What? <laughs> what? It was, um, Megan just thought of like a great analogy for what we do with the manganese crust and mm -hmm. then the rock on the inside is like frosting in a cake. So that's what we were talking about. That is a great analogy. I know. And I know. now I want cake. Hey, front row, are you on SBL real quick? Who are you asking for? <laughs> Anybody. <laughs> oh, we're oh, here. Front row. Just a quick question that yeah. maybe you guys would know, but also maybe the science team, not sure. Um, but someone was wondering, um, have any animals ever snuck into the sample boxes without your knowledge? <laughs> on, on rocks, for, I bet. Yeah, mm. that's a good point. Yeah. Oh, that's or true. Like a, good perspective, yeah. Or like uh, maybe a brittle star snuck on a coral, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. This is true. We actually had a few of those in the, this morning that, you know, snuck in on a rock that we didn't realize. And one that snuck in on that coral that we sampled, there were two brittle stars, two different kinds of brittle oh. stars that were associated. So one tiny little one. And one larger one. What so are the different kinds of brittle stars, Diane? Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Oh. Gotcha, yes. <laughs> oh, She's my like, goodness. Okay. One second. <laughs> Let me try and remember. The actually, big one, one was, and the little one. was one. actually a snake star. Oh. Um, trying to think of the family. Oh, I don't need that. That's okay. okay. <laughs> um, Not for me. Don't do that for me. <laughs> I can spell it, I think. Because <laughs> <laughs> I had to write it several times in the lab now. P H U I R I D A E. That was one of them. <laughs> I believe yeah. you. Did That's that okay. Star Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yep. Believable. Maybe Thanks. not. Um, I'm going to look it up right now. I'll Did that sea star it. that we collected uh, stay on its rock? No, didn't. <laughs> but we got it, right? Oh, Furiday. Sorry, there was an O in front. Huh. Oh, Furiday. Oh, Furiday. Oh, yeah. Check that out. So when you get hitchhikers, yep. what happens? 
Like, it's just like, when did you get there? Well, since we already brought them to the surface, mm -hmm. we went ahead and sampled those. We call them sub-samples because mm -hmm. it came up in association. You guys were right. talking about associations of different mm -hmm. animals mm -hmm. before. Yep. So, it, you know, we could see patterns in that way um, of, you know, associations of like, oh, this brittle star we always find with this type of coral and um, find out some about how these uh -huh. organisms might benefit from each other mm -hmm. um, in that way. So we did subsample these and um, took measurements and now they are preserved. So, and we'll go home. Cool. And you have to tell everyone how you untangled the knot of the brittle star arm. Oh my goodness, he was all wound oh up in that no. coral. It was literally in a knot. The arm went <gasps> up and around ah. the coral and then oh back through itself and then wound around like no. a couple more times. Oh my God. So it was so just cool. a very complicated, like, ooh, we're just going to move One your loop little loop arm loop. a little bit and around. Yeah. Because I didn't want to damage the coral, and of right. course I didn't want to damage the, the star. So, yeah. Took a little time. Delicate work. It was kind of neat. It was kind of <laughs> meditative almost, you know. Like it sounds fun. I want to untangle it. Like, a yeah. brittle star. <laughs> like a couple little forceps. Yeah, you got to come by. 8 a.m. <laughs> She's like 8 a.m. Hopefully we'll have a perk back on board, take those samples into the lab. So mm -hmm. yeah, come check it out. It's, it's fun. Oh, just for those wondering, again, have been getting a couple of reminder questions. We are going down to about 2,500 meters or 2,500 meters. So we are getting quite close. Um, we are at 2,425. <laughs> just changed now. Um, so we are getting pretty close. Yes, it's, it's uh, pretty deep. Pretty deep indeed. Starting to see bottom in our... Um, Doppler view on Herc. We're about 70 meters off bottom. That's exciting. What will we see? Where are you seeing bottom? Yeah, I was just about to take you. Both us. of you, <laughs> these screens here. Uh huh. Doppler four beams in green. Oh. Up here, depth and altitude. Oh. I remember Trevor saying about the yep. three, four, that makes sense. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. I was like, I don't think I see anything I was in, like, the, <laughs> in the blue. I was like, where did she say? Uh -huh. I was like, oh, 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 right, right, right. Is seafood served in the galley? Uh, yeah, we get fish sometimes. Shrimp. A lot of shrimp. shrimp. We had a sushi on Easter. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's in it, but we had sushi. Yeah, I don't know. But it's all it's all seafood frozen that game. we brought with us. Yep. We yep. are not, not collecting fishing. any <laughs> fish out here. We're not fishing. The secondary ROV usually is Argus, yes, um, but we are not utilizing Argus um, today and have not been for the last uh, several dives. We're using Atlanta, Can so there are four ROVs total on the ship. There is Big Herc, Little Herc, Argus, and Atlanta. And Atlanta does the virtually the same thing as Argus, and so that is who is taking those great pictures and um, hovering above Hercules when we are diving. I can speed up if you want. No, you can keep going that speed. Okay. okay. And we are seeing bottom, more so cautious. let's see what we find. And you can find. keep this delta now. Okay. Here we go. I'll maintain it. We've arrived. Whoa. That's a lot of sediment. I was just about to say mm -hmm. the same thing, yeah. You could probably start spinning to port now, please. Yes, sir. Uh, other port. Other port. Other port. You want me to match your heading? 
Uh, just keep me in view. Okay, get you in view. Sure. All right. And you can do a quick reset. mode now. I've got you in sight. Okay, good delta there. Nice. We do a quick bias before we do white balance. That's probably fine. Okay, craft arm on bubble please. Craft arm. What am I doing? This one, this one. Porch light is secure. Uh, how about right there, Steve? That's happy. That's that good. You happy? Can you confirm the porch light's off and lasers? Confirm. Porch are light is off. Lasers are secure. Thank you. Okay, we are going to go dark for a moment. Now we will white balance. And we are good to go, thank you. Thanks. Stephen, why is it so important to white balance for the folks watching? So white balancing uh, gives our camera a point of reference um, for to tell it what the color should be. Um, different light sources have different color temperatures. For example, okay, porch, the color temperature of direct sunlight is about 5,600 degrees Kelvin. Uh, sure. And the color okay. temperature of an incandescent light bulb is about 3,200 Kelvin. That's I can try auto much warmer, I know. whereas mm -hmm. the sunlight is much cooler. Mm. You can think of like orange versus blue. Mm -hmm. And uh, it just helps calibrate our camera. So it matches uh, the color temperature of the lights we're using on the ROV. So everything looks true in color. Seems to look fine so far. I'm going to try a step to starboard. Three meters. It's going to the right. That's a good sign. How far? We got like 30 meters to the origin ish. 30 meters vertical. Steven, do you want me to play with some Hercules lights for a second? Right now I've got all okay. of my, or sorry, Atalanta lights. I've I'll got all get, my Atalanta lights on. I'll get to right on. there, then I'll stop, put it in autos, I can cross the, turn cross the line and see what happens. Like. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and play around. Up to you. Okay. Okay, science, we're ready to science. <laughs> hey, okay, we like that. Let's science. Thank you. Science. Thank you. <laughs> also, Trevor, can you come off bottom a few meters and pan around? Roger I that. I see a good view in Atlanta, but I just want to see what it looks that like. That looks good to me. That's nice. This yeah. is a nice big pillow, but it looks like a boulder that's fallen from somewhere else. Mm -hmm. As do many of those. So Steve, you got any brightening action on Herc? Coming Thank up. you. Thank you. Nice. I'm going to look the other way, too. Do a little look see. Have a gander. Nice to gorge out there. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's Another a really big, big boulder. One. Wow. It's a bit of a, a desert. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, well, maybe um, come up. Uh, let's see, what is your heading? 
due one. north is up the slope. Yeah, okay. Um, let's maybe go due north or towards waypoint two. Uh, so Roger that. Whatever, 10 north, degrees. Yeah. Um, maybe just about 10 meters just to see, like, does it continue to look like boulders that have fallen down or can we get a sense that something is in situ? Okay. Okay. Um, Do you want a ship move or no? Sure. I don't, okay. Okay. Yeah. Just a little one. Yeah. Little bump. What our, is going to be the next step after that? Our first objective at this deep depth is to get a rock sample <laughs> oh, uh, for Val. Yeah. Okay. Um, then hold off on the ship move. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And so I'm just trying to get a sense down here if what we're going to be sampling is from this depth or if it's stuff that has rained down. Because we're on a very steep, we're going to be on a very steep ridge this whole dive. Roger. Looks like there's a there's sea, a sea pig on sea the pen. right. On the left. Yeah, Gone. Sea, sea cucumber and there was a sea pen. Like I'm just gonna. I can't really go s ahead much more, so I'm just gonna come up. I like that idea. Yeah. I don't think I saw any cliff action, uh, both in sonar now and on camera on descent. So I wouldn't hold our breath for something big and cliffy. Yeah, but this, like this big thing here, that's probably a very in situ material. So if we want to yeah. maybe go there sure. and poke around to see if we can find a rock to pick up. Okay. Maybe starting with this target. Can you circle that target again, please? Yeah, I'll need a ship move. Right in there. Maybe see if there's anything broken off okay. there. Uh, let's go uh, 20 meter ship move, please. Yeah. Bonk. I guess we have some, uh, some heave. Yeah. How does the current feel down here so far? Nothing. Okay. Nothing doing. Yeah. Were well, folks wondering, um, there are two ROVs. That's why we can see her. You're like, how? Uh, we can see her because Atalanta is hovering over. Um, Ashton, can you remind us how, about how far above you hover over Hercules? Yeah, um, so Atalanta is connected to the ship with a really long cable attached to a wench. Um, and then that's kind of our umbilical to the ship, to power, to everything we need. And then um, this yellow tether that you see in the picture is what connects Hercules that you're looking at in the Atalanta camera to Atalanta. Um, this enables us to get really good views of Hercules, to kind of see the bigger picture of where Herc is situated. And uh, Atalanta, you'll see, gets a lot more bouncy action and absorbs a lot of the ship's movement um, so that Herc can do some fine tune work on the ground, like collect samples, get really still shots, that kind of thing. Yeah. While we're waiting for the ship move, I might check out this boulder with the Chrysogorgia and the Bamboo? What was it? I don't it remember. looked like a sea it pen. Ooh. But I don't think that was on the boulder. Yeah, I think, I think it was there was just a the bamboo on the boulder. There was a bamboo and a chrysogorgia on the boulder. Oh, I didn't and see the bamboo. And then we saw a sea pen and a sea pig just off the boulder. Shelby, I know you get asked a lot why we're using Atalanta instead of Argus. Yes. <laughs> Do you want me to <laughs> please expound? Um, mm -hmm. Usually Argus is the go-to uh, to work with Hercules, but it was having some thruster issues at the very beginning of this expedition. And so for this entire cruise, we are going to be using Atalanta. Um, Zoom in, please. Basically, the thruster motor controllers were burning out, so we're troubleshooting that and getting that one fixed. But for the remainder of our time um, in the monument here, we'll be using Atalanta. Beautiful. Yeah, so Argus is here, um, guys. <laughs> we didn't get rid of him. Um, just uh, it's in a little therapy, get fixed. Uh, 
Not exactly sure what type of Chrysogorgia that was. That felt a little different than some of the ones we've been seeing, but... Yeah. It kind of looked sparse, like a Metallogorgia, but I'm not sure that that's what it was. It looks a little bit like the Flavincens. Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, you're right. I don't know how to pronounce that. But what page is that on? 15 of the <laughs> online version. <laughs> I'm not sure how that <laughs> correlates. <laughs> So, sea pan or sea pig? Uh, we'll look at both. Sea uh, pen is right to the left of the lasers. Mm. And pig is further to the further right. To the right. I'm just wondering yeah. where you want to start. I guess yeah. I could have asked that better. Hearing nothing, I'm going to go with the sea pen. Yep. My answer was also not very clear. <laughs> <laughs> Raj. I mean, I was gonna, I was gonna pipe up, but it's really not my show. <laughs> it's everyone's show. Are sea pens primnoids Oop, or? Bonk. No, they're a different type of octocoral. Okay. Hmm, I don't know if Keep I can. Going. Keep going. Get any lower. I'm just landing on everything. You can zoom in there, please, Steve. <laughs> Oh, uh -oh. that might just be seal. something dead. Yeah, that looks like something that <laughs> yeah. broke off, yeah. It's like a sea straw. Hey, it's got, <laughs> got spicules, doesn't it? Sticking out the side of it? It does a little have something hairy, furry, yeah. spicules. Chris is saying it's a tube worm. It's Whoa. a tube worm. Okay. Come wow. On. Let me get That's unstuck so cool. here. <laughs> tube worm, all right. That's super cool. That we don't, I don't think we've seen cam. a tube worm. No, we haven't. Oh. Yeah, Good that's eye. exciting. Bonk imminent. <laughs> bonk. <laughs> no bonk. Bonk, here we go. <laughs> Ugh, rats. There's just so much bumpy stuff around here. Who put these rocks here? <laughs> <laughs> Who? <laughs> it's a little bumpy down here. Okay, whoop, oh, yeah. Whoop. Look at that. Sea cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me think of spider pig, spider pig. <laughs> I can honestly say that was not what I was thinking. Nor was I. <laughs> All right. Can you zoom in there, please? Oh. Aww. All right, I'm not getting very good imagery in this boulder field. Trevor, can you Hello. have a look at this thing right here? Yes, likely. I think it's maybe another one of the two worms, but just want to have a look. Another one up to the right I know, as well. thank you. Yeah, I'm just about to say there. There. Go ahead, another one up there. there. Start with this one. Oh, oh, oh. this one is more Same. spiky. That one's the worm's hanging out. Oh, oh. you got more zoom. Oh. That's full zoom right there. Whoa, interesting. Weird. That's so cool. That is Weird. unusual. That is awesome. It didn't look too good. No. <laughs> right? Is that their natural healthy state? <laughs> Ooh, Chris Kelly says two worm overgrown by hydroids. Oh, oh. so that was the uh, that was the furry bits. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It does not look too All good. All right, we'll <laughs> ship move action here. Let's go up slope a bit. All right. Bonk. Okay, what? It just stop, Trev. <laughs> oh, right. Where were we going? We were yeah, over. Yeah, we this might need to come here. up again so we can see our target. That's it, right there. 
Okay, how many just right go right the, where the lasers are? Right in this area. See if there's anything that's looks like it's broken off. If not, we'll try this big piece to our left. Seeing anything? Not yet. This all looks. I mean, yes, this stuff looks like it's fallen off this, but it also looks pretty rounded. I'm just looking to see if there's anything that's more angular, like it's broken off more recently. Mirage. What kind of rock are we looking at? At the sort of bigger structure? These look like pillow basalts to me. There's something in the Atlanta camera. Yeah, like a jelly or something. Do you see that? Oh, there's something. Yeah. In bubble? Between oh. us, oh. yeah. And mini Zeus. I saw a shrimp in bubble. Oh, no? looks mm. like a little fish, a little bit. Oh, somebody's wondering what kind of tube worm. Did Chris Kelly give us any other information about what maybe species it might be or? Order taxonomic sab Sabolida. <laughs> oh gosh, I don't know how to. Can we have a closer look at this piece right here, yep, Trevor? Sure. Uh, it might be too big, but I didn't get any more species. I just want to see if it's more ancient. But he did say that it was overgrown by hydroids. Oh, no, it's pretty rounded. One more time, which, which was one was it? Uh, you're fine. Uh, which okay. I haven't even seen it now. Hydroid. That's not really what I want. Refresh myself. Um, I'm looking way up. Okay, can you come up off bottom again, just off so we bottom. can look we around? Go. This is going to be a little bit of a hunting expedition. Yeah, and if we can come back to our um, starboard side, back to the area where it looked more cohesive. Just look around there again a little bit more. Where did it go? Can we yeah. find that rock we were looking at originally? Yeah, go back into that below. area. Someone's wondering, still on the sea pig, uh, isn't sea cucumber and sea pig actually different holotherian? Um, yes. Yeah. I think uh, we saw a sea cucumber. Yeah. Yes, it was a sea cucumber, not yeah. a sea pig. Yeah. Oh, the okay. one we looked at yeah. there, Beth, was sea the pigs. one just between the lasers yeah. away at the top of the screen. I think, yeah, I think we started it here. Oh, maybe that one, okay. So um, if we can maybe, I don't know if you could get down to this level, but maybe we didn't yeah. quite look at that area. I've got my eye on these two, see if maybe we think, or this over here. Of course, it might be hard to get in there with uh, <laughs> the big boulder right in front of it. Can you highlight again which ones you're looking for? Sorry. These ones in this area look yeah, okay. like they might be good candidates, especially this one. Yeah, Roger. Might be just the right size. Pretty big. Twenty five centimeters maybe? Yeah. Yeah. That's probably too big. Right. But the one behind it is good. Um, try let's try picking that? that up and see what Roger it looks that. like. Can we get some stills before we I've got smush a few up the area? already? Okay, great. Smush up the area. <laughs> okay, craft arm on bubble please. Bubble on craft arm. Looks like we have one of those xenophyophores down here. Mm. You ready for me to grab it? Yes. 
sticky, but uh, I think I got oh, it. Oh, there it is. Whoa, nice, nice job. Grippity grab. I'm going to shake a little bit of the dust off, because otherwise you won't be able to see it. Cool cloud. Yeah, yeah, cool turbulence features. Yeah. Can we let the dust settle, and then I'll get some glam photos? This is all you get. <laughs> <laughs> it's mysterious. Ooh. It's like a magic act. Exactly. No. <laughs> and then with right, the lasers on top. Lasers <laughs> on one. It'll give you a slightly better angle there. There's a lasers on photo. Fantastic. Got it. Okay, push in a little more there, Steve, please. Do you want porch light on? Yeah. Sure. Probably. Yeah. Yes. Ooh. Sorry. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> nice. All right. So definitely this one has seen some alteration, but hopefully there's some good material on the inside that'll still be unaltered. Thanks. Great. Thank you. Okay, come wide, please. Beauty. This is going in the starboard side. Starboard yep. side. All right. And you're wide open over there. If we could use one of the smaller boxes, that'd be great. Let's go for gold with Delta. All right. You can open the box. Ready when you are. That Argus view is awesome, Ashton. Oh, thank you. Yep. This is 105. What am I doing? We should assign a point system to the box. <laughs> <laughs> and Delta for five points. Steven, some folks are saying that they're getting like some bars across the screen. I think I sort of uh, see what they're talking about, but not sure. One channel one thing. Oh. Might be a little bigger than we thought. You're seeing it on the stream? You have it up there? Do you mean to see Bump out the box a I'll little more. I'll check it out in a second. Okay. 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 Hmm. Hmm. That's a tricky one. Oh, now I'm stuck in it somehow. How is it stuck on the... What? Okay, well. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna fit. You don't have a choice not to, little rock. <laughs> no. Nope. Maybe it has a choice not to fit. I'm going to spend about 30 more seconds on this, and then I'll have to put it in another box. Sure. Square peg, square hole, but different size. Oh, almost. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> oh, no. So close. <gasps> Oh my gosh. Well, it's in there. Yeah. It's oh. probably not coming out. Yeah, I, yeah, well. Hmm. Can we close the box? <laughs> <laughs> Time will tell. Where's the rubber mallet tool when we need yeah, it? Really, eh? Okay, uh, let's try closing the box, see how it goes. Okay, I'm gonna do this slowly. Yeah, Raj. Can you help? zoom in on Atalanta, please? I'm going to change your Atalanta heading just slightly. Yes, thank you. And you can box in. Okay. Box in. I'm just doing it in little tiny movements. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I think it's good. I forgot you've got that clearance. Oh. Keep going. Okay. Nice work.
Okay. All right. Thank you. Ooh. Yay, rock. Okay, what do we got? I love watching her use the arm from the top. I just stowed it from that, yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> it looks like a little frog. Okay, uh, let's do some other science now. Yeah, more science. You want to start so, ship moving, or what do you want to yeah, do? Yeah, we're going to start ship move up to waypoint two, please. Roger okay, that. Okay, here we go. Bridge nav. Ooh. Can we move five zero meters bearing zero two five, please? Thank you. Zero two five, Raj. I could take front porch, please. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, I had forgotten. Can you zoom in, please, a little bit on that? Or maybe even clear trails if you can. Just down a little bit and right. That might do it. Thanks, everybody, for letting nice. us know about the video. Uh, we are working on it, and we'll try to get things clear for you all. Uh, but very much so appreciate the feedback. Um, uh, we are troubleshooting. I think, so. I think Thanks. it's Hercules. Oh, I see. It's probably clearing the DVL trail. That's fine. Nice. Good call. Someone's wondering what was everyone's most memorable experience when going down, if you're referring to blue water time. Um, I don't think we've seen a whole lot. We've seen a little stuff here and there, but maybe more so just uh, the conversations that we get to have um, while we're waiting to hit bottom, sharing a lot of information with each other um, is always nice, but I don't think anything just super shocking has happened so far, but. Not on our watch at never least. Not in our watch, at least, exactly. But never say never. We still have several dives to get through. Mm, moves in autos. Uh, there are not three ROVs down. There are only two. Um, at Atlanta is a separate ROV from Argus. So it's not Argus, at Atlanta, and Hercules. It's just at Atlanta and Hercules. Um, but Argus is on board, but was having some thruster issues. So only two. Yeah, if we accidentally mention Argus, it's because it's <laughs> so commonly used that <laughs> sometimes we slip up and we're, we just refer to Argus. But we mean at Atlanta. So a question, I have a question for Trevor. Hello. You said this was the first time that you dove with Hercules and Atalanta? That's right, yeah. How is it going? <laughs> I'm the same as Argus, yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Do you think Atalanta um, bounces more because it's smaller, or do you think it's about the same? I think it bounces more, do yeah. You? But I don't have any hard data to back that up. Yeah. We, I mean, we have the hard data. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have anything to compare it to.
Okay, so I'm getting some fun info from Chris Kelly. One was that, correction, I've been calling certain things sea pigs. I think we did see one, but that was not a sea pig that we yeah. just saw in this dive. It was a sea cucumber. cucumber. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, he says that slang designation is generally restricted to members of the family Elipididae. The genus, oh goodness, I don't know, I'm going to butcher that. <laughs> anyway, the one that we just saw is a sea cucumber, and it is in a different family, Cynolectidae. Cool. So, I wanted to pass that on. Thank you. Um, yeah. Nice. The other thing is that we have some folks ashore very excited about that sea star that we collected on the last dive. So, kudos. Awesome. Oh, someone's wondering, are the bright lights on Hercules um, an issue for animals with eyes at this depth? Might be the first time a lot of these animals have even seen light um, in their lives, but not exactly sure if it's super harmful to them, but maybe a shocker for sure. There are some scientists who think that fishes with eyes or some other animals with eye spots like shrimp <clears throat> uh, yeah, might be affected by this extremely bright light because their eyes uh, or eye type organs are adapted for very low light conditions. Um, whether it's just an acute or a chronic issue is not very well understood. But you're right, uh, Shelby, that the majority of the organisms down here um, it is unclear that they have light sensing capabilities, although it does seem that many species might have fluorescence or bioluminescent properties, so maybe light is a more important um, sense in the deep sea than is commonly uh, appreciated. Ooh, are any of these rocks geodes? <laughs> I guess we wouldn't know, or is it not common? No, they are not. <clears throat> Ooh. Mm, that was a big ship's roll. Here's a coral. Oh, there's one. Yep, another oh, yeah. Chrysogorgia. My precious. <laughs> <laughs> Although it's not a precious coral. Oh, <laughs> man, rats. It is albine's lonesome, though. I think that this is a type of Chrysogorgia flavescens. Stephen, are we able to put the sunset up on feed three? Looking real, real picture X out there. What's that little floaty thing? A little floaty red thing? Oh. See if we can line them up. Bubble cam? Good or try. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Yeah, that looks 
It's like a satellite. <laughs> 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 Cool, look at Herc from Argus. Good job. Very much so. Thank you. That primary comp is a little lower than I'm used to seeing. Okay. I'm okay. sorry. Noted. I think they went in a little low. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Chair malfunction. <laughs> we're back, we're back. <laughs> this won't work. Oh yeah, that's much better. <laughs> I didn't even know these reclined. Nice. Yeah, I've been having some <laughs> neck cramps after the end of these ex uh, <laughs> shifts, so <laughs> this is a little bit better. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Diane. So every time I like turn to the right, there's a bag coming <laughs> towards me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Love it. Oh, are these the ones with stayings on the inside? Indeed. Ooh. Which ones have kids? What does everyone in the back say? Room. It's dark. <laughs> Smiles are free, so share them. <laughs> Forgot my chocolate today. Did you already have these? Either? Okay. Back row gets chocolate, front row gets fungus. <laughs> hey, do you, want, do you guys want some fungus? <laughs> front row gets what? Fungus? Fungus. This is hard. Fungus. No. Can hard no. <laughs> Y'all keep that out so there. You're kidding. <laughs> Mushroom crisps? Yeah, yeah, they're wild. Don't don't Can send those my one? way, Annabelle. What is this one? <laughs> they're very uh, umami. I can't see anything. Is this astronaut food? <laughs> 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 Can I try one? Astronaut yeah, one. Astronaut yeah, you should try wish. one. Does anybody else in the background? No. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm, I'm very much okay. Thank you, though. I picked the weirdest looking bag I could find at the grocery store. Thanks. And it's confirmed weird. What Black is I'm glad I tried it once. With bubble can. I did. I gave it a. I gave it a chance. <laughs> that was weird. I should have brought dried mango. That's what I should have brought. Wait, those are actually really good, Trevor. I know they're 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 all right. Yeah. Yeah, they're like. I salty. like them. Yeah. You want more? <laughs> I see it. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go for the chocolate now, but those are good. You could have chocolate and fungus in the same go. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, come on. Okay, I'll, I'll <laughs> take a sip of water. Fine, you never had truffles? <laughs> Truffle chocolate? Oh, yeah. You fancy. I've never <laughs> I don't know if I have, actually. I've never <laughs> had, like, truffle fr french fries. Mm. Yeah. Lynette, do you mind zooming way out on high pack? So I can see sure. the dive track. Yep. Yes, thank you. Um, like as a small feature compared to the seamount. I saw the image of the seamount in the dive plan and I was like, ooh, look at that cool bit right there. That'd be Is cool to okay? dive on. And that's where we are. Yeah, thanks. That's good, yep. Lynette. Okay. For those of us eating chocolate, what is your expression say? Smiles are free, so share them. Oh. Mine said, Aww. That's nice. If you are reading this, you are beautiful and worth it. <laughs> you are, Steven. Wow, <laughs> yeah, you are. Thank you. <laughs> Mine says, Don't stop until you're proud. From Lauren and Colorado. Mine says, Dark chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Is that the red one? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Oh, I didn't realize Trevor, it was a multi-bag. You have to look within. It is a multi-bag. I got the one with the, the caramel. Oh, well, within the wrapper. Within the wrapper. Caramel is the best. I got the one with the caramel, too. Delicious. Thank you. Keep life so moving forward. 
looking backward is only for time travelers. It's only for Herc. <laughs> only for butt cam. <laughs> How do they know? <laughs> so good. Thank you for the chocolate. Thank oh, you're welcome. Yeah, it was yeah, very delicious. Thank, thank you, you Diane. It goes very well with the fungus. <laughs> <laughs> It's hard uh, no. It's mushroom. Is it hard? It? Hard no. Yeah. Fun mushrooms are fungus. Mushrooms are fungus. But are they advertised as like fungus crisps? No. Okay. They're fungus. I that's think because that's, that doesn't roll off. <laughs> <the tongue. laughs> There's fungus. some marketing issues. I'm just in wondering why stick. Trevor's trying to market it to us as, as fungus? fungus crisps. If you don't have any, I can have more. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. Hey Ashton. Smarten up. Let's let's smarten up. We got a cliff wall coming up. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> I heard my name. It was me. Hi. Hi Shelby. <laughs> <laughs> you just just checking in? No, I have a question for you. Oh hi. <laughs> Bridge nap. She's like feeling lonely back there. Um. Okay. So someone's Can we move wondering. Five zero oh. meters okay. bearing zero oh, four who's five. Oh, that? please. That's a sponge right in Thank front you. of us. We can do a quick oh, zoom whoa. on that, please. Yeah, that's cool. And it looks like there's maybe some. Fans up ahead of us. One second, Ashton. Sorry. No problem. I'm getting settled over here anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead, Steve. I can't stay too long. I think I can hear us. <laughs> <laughs> Does look like an ear. Head on. Yeah. It's <laughs> like a dog ear. <laughs> Whoa. That's crazy. Yeah. You okay, okay, you can come wide. Hey, Shelby. Hi. Yes, I'm ready. Are you ready? Okay. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you are. You are. Somebody's wondering, is at Atlanta taking data, or is she just, first of all, I'm so glad that they know it's a lady, or is she just Aww. looking at Hercules to help him navigate? She has sensors. She has, what does she have? She has a depth center sensor. She has a sound velocity sensor. She has a multi-beam that's not currently in use. Side oh wait, scan. side scan. Thank you, the edge tech here is a side scan. Um, she's got a sonar that we are using. Another Chrysler Gorgia. Mm -hmm. Keep going, Ashton. Yeah, she has a sonar that we're using to um, sense the seafloor and so we don't bump into anything. And what else? We've got cameras. Those are a sort of sensor. We've got like four cameras, three cameras, three cameras on board. Um, otherwise, not taking a lot of like active sea related measurements. Mm -hmm. We leave that to Hercules. Um, but yeah, Atalanta is not like, she's not a stupid ROV. <laughs> Very <laughs> functional. <laughs> Don't just, underestimate her. <laughs> sometimes they refer to it as a clump weight. It's more than that, right? <laughs> more than just a clump weight. Atalanta, Atalanta is definitely more than a clump weight. Yeah. More than a clump weight. A clump weight. <laughs> yes. Put some respect on Adelaide's name, guys. I she looked does up a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I looked up the Greek name at dinner for yeah. Atalanta because I was kind of curious because I think all these ROVs have like Greek stories behind them, Ooh, Greek mm -hmm. mythology, Greek legends, and Atalanta means equal in weight and she is a heroine. She was like, I think the only female to be involved with the Argonauts and I cannot claim to know anything about Greek mythology. So if anyone wants to tell the tale of the Argonauts, I am all ears. Annabelle's going to Google in the sky. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Annabelle. Go, Annabelle, go. <laughs> but I think she was essentially like a female warrior among Ooh. a bunch of men. Ooh. Can you zoom in, please, Steve? Mm -hmm. Before we get there. Sure. And some Sponge. What Dude. is it? Oh. Oh. What is it? Dramatic. <laughs> oh. oh. This oh. might be a polyopagon. No. Uh, is it? Of course, Chris just went to bed. Yeah, just a <laughs> moment ago. <laughs> All right. Spend. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to stand by my statement. All right. That's what I think that is.
Sorry, Ashton. Were you done with your very uh, interesting? Were you done? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't, want, I don't know if we ex got sorry. cut off by this sponge because I want to finish hearing the. Uh, <laughs> I like Greek mythology. I feel yeah. like I do too, but I don't know any. I feel like Anna Annabelle's going to find more, but I did read something about, you know, how like the, the Greek gods all have these almost impossible to pronounce names. Uh -huh. Like, I don't know. Much like Persephone all these scientific names. And, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, so that. all these gods with these like crazy names, you know, had different involvements with Atalanta. But then some guy named Jason tried to like keep Jason her from and coming the Argonauts. along. <laughs> yeah. So I just appreciate that in Greek mythology, there's just like Hercules, Persephone, Mistopheles, and then Jason. Freaking Jason <laughs> was like, no, you're a girl. You can't come. It's going to be bad luck. <laughs> so, nope, that's all I know. <laughs> Over to you, Annabelle. <laughs> I'm reading the Argonaut story, and it's very long. So I will continue <laughs> reading and give you a synopsis in a second. Maybe in blue time, we just read the entire Odyssey. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Beth, what was your idea on that sponge? Polyopagon. Polyopagon. Yep, and there's a couple of folks out in the world who also are agreeing, so. Thank you for that. Polyopagon. It's another one on the right. Oh, yeah. There is? Oh. Oh, oh good a eye. little baby one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Bailey Pop. And a also. And a. What is that? What is that? Yeah, I can't tell. There's a. Thick looking Can you zoom on the squishy the thing, please? Feather star? Huh. Whoa. Uh, ooh. Um, what are you? What oh, is that? Oh, that's. Ooh. Wow. Awesome. Oh. It looks like a wind tunnel. It likes, yeah, it yeah. like curves back. That is incredible. Wow. Oh my gosh. Like a yeah. Nut. At first, I was like, that crinoid has a very thick stalk. But then when I got closer, I was like, wait, no, that's not what that is. Oh my ooh. goodness. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Wow. It's like a Can carousel. Porch light, yeah. yeah. Porch light coming porch. on. See what that does for us? Better or worse, Steve? Worse. Ooh, it's oh folding in. It's folding. Oh, it's it's responding. Oh. Okay, you oh can turn goodness. it off. Oh, my goodness. Or are we okay. just thrusting it while oh, we're maybe. Oh, uh, maybe. Do you guys want lasers on or off? This is fine. Okay. I'm just looking through our list to see if this is something that's on our wish list. All right, I should get going now. I'm but I don't up. see it. Okay. Yeah. Come in wide. No bump. That was cool. That was cool. Mm -hmm. That thing was amazing. So we're thinking of doing some sampling on this cliff at any point. I think we might have to take smaller steps with the ship and move okay. a little slower. Okay. okay. Why is that? Just right now we're laid back uh, okay. 30 meters or so. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. So we could sample, but we might have to either risk being fast or come back for it. It's very cliffy. Mm -hmm. Just trying to understand, so thank you. I'm so curious to know what that thing was. The back row's on it. I say without <laughs> knowing if they are. Or not. Oh, They're I'm looking. On it. <laughs> Some people are guessing that it's a solitary hydroid. Oh, hmm. interesting. Hmm. Maybe. These look a little different, but maybe that one was full grown or something. I don't know. Yeah. The, the um, sort of tentacle things are kind of bending back. Yeah. Right? Oh, it looks like this. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Looks like it's that's what it is. Or at least something. Diane, did you find it? No. Not it, yet. Uh, it looks like potentially a solitary hydroid. Um, it's a solitary hydroid. Yeah. That's I googled that and a picture came up pretty similar, but I don't know actually what the scientific name is for it. That's nice. Wow. 
Majestic. Ooh, that oh, that is a steep slope. Do you see right that? There. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, wow, that's yeah. a steep cliff. That is a steep cliff. That yeah. is. Thank you, viewers. Thank yeah, you, viewers. Thank you, viewers. Yes, coming through for us. the viewers. Thank you. This is crazy. I'm going to look back oh, along the cliff. That is so cool. Oh, wow. Look at this. It's eerie. Equal and parts right. eerie and cool. Or Amorphidae. Wow. Look at this that. This is cool. It said not to look back. <laughs> Don't look down. Right. The viewers coming through for us. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look at that. Can we get some still cam images of this, yep. please? I know I already mm -hmm. got a couple. Very, oh wow, look at that. Wow. I'm scared and fascinated. <laughs> and get some, set you up for some good Argus shot, uh, Atlanta shots. Oh, thank you. You have to come down in Delta, I think. I can do that. I got a little high just now. Inching a little closer. Comment from a viewer about that solitary hydroid saying that they saw one last expedition that was red and about twice the size. Oh, oh cool. Yeah. cool. Thank you. No, I cool. can't get down that far, never mind. Uh, I can come down a little bit. No, that's it's okay. It's a little bumpy. <laughs> Not totally sure what that thing in your sonar is going to be, so yeah. we'll look at that first. All right. Oh, so cool. Chasing you over there. What was our bearing on that last move? Due north. Thank you. Yep. Let's look this way. What's this way look like? There's a little something swimming by at the bottom, going off, off screen. Oh, wow. It really is both sides. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is like, wow. a, it's like a spine. Totally, We're going to yeah. be climbing up on this diet. I'm never sure how much to believe the spines <laughs> in uh, high pack, but this one's oh my goodness. actually real. Really cool. Great shot in Atlanta. Whoa. Yeah, wow. 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 Oh, yes. Wild. Yet, interestingly, there's not a bunch of stuff attached to the sides. There's also yeah. barely any current, which is probably very related. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And or that this is just not very stable and things have fallen off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens as we climb. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is steep right there. Wow. Oh my goodness. Doing okay. Yep. I'm going to be deltaing pretty good here, up and down, and just kind of. Kind of follow you as I can. Yeah, totally. Okay. I'm zoomed in a good amount there. Thank you. But let me know if you want me to come wide. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's something. What's this? What's this bit of science here? What? Can you zoom oh. in on the science, please? <laughs> <laughs> zoom in on the science. <laughs> Just clump it all into one. <laughs> uh, Maybe. Yeah, give me a second on that one. Uh, it's different than what we have been seeing. That's cool. Is it one of the Crisa Gorges? I don't think so. I'm betting black coral. Mm. Yeah. I saw Come a black kind of spine thing. Are you ready for another short move? Uh, I think so. Science, you good for that? Let's keep moving up. Yes, please. Okay. Yep. Bridge nav. Can we move three zero meters bearing three three zero, please? Just a little. Thank you. Yeah, so some type of bathy pathies. Maybe Conferrata. 
It was interesting how the branches were coming out symmetrically on four sides. So I've changed the gain on the on your sonar, so it'll show up yellow cool. earlier. Just thank so you know, you. if you see a difference there, that's what's going on. Oh, thank you so much. That's awesome. This is sheer. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, this is amazing. There we go. Now we got some corals. Mm. Oh, there we go. Oh. Right on Look the at the Atalanta view, too. Yeah. Big scarred up slope here. Yeah. Incredible. It's amazing to see that this deep. Yeah. Really quickly for the viewer wondering, um, first of all, awesome that you're into ROVs and you've been working on robotics. Um, there are some diagrams that you can refer to. If you go to nautiluslive.org under education, um, there's a technology section and there's um, a graphic there that sort of explains all the parts of Hercules. And I think there are just some other um, videos and pictures that sort of go into the parts um, to help you as you build and learn about them. So. Definitely uh, explore that section of the website. Lynette, how much more of a ship's move do we have in? Uh, we have about 20 meters left to go. OK. Can I get some slide on there, please? Yep. And you can give me a reset, too. Sure. I bet we'll be doing that a lot okay. because of the terrain. Thank you. Okay. Yep. Ooh, let's look at this little summit. Ooh, mm. look at that. Oh, man. Wow. A little pinnacle. It's a diving board. <laughs> <laughs> Whoosh. Cannonball. Whoa. Into the darkness. <laughs> That's so cool. No corals on the top of it, though. you think that no. would be a huge, uh, you know, leg up. There's one coral on it. I can find it real quick here. Yep, one oh little yeah, Christogorgia. One, yeah. one little Chrysogorgia. And not even at the pinnacle. Mm -mm. Mm. Bizarre. Huh. There's something in the uh, Atlantic ham right ahead of you. More coral or is that rock? I think that's I think a so sediment in the rock. Yeah, rock. sediment. Sediment. This one right now. Yes, that one. Sea cucumber Sea cucumber, yep. Oh, good eye. I got time oh, for yeah. a look at that sea cucumber if you want. Give me just a sec to stabilize. Are they free floating or they have appendages that we can't okay, see Steve, to we move can them go around? In there. I don't know. Oh, look at the insides of that Whoa. one. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. That one is full. Yeah, that one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really glad people can't see my insides I like know. that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. that's, that's too much of your business out in the open. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think that right, is more Steve. similar to the ones we saw Bridge yesterday. Nap. Can we move three zero meters bearing three three zero, please? What is the red? Little is that red. just a shrimp? Oh, I have a, okay, a really quick one. Yeah, no problem. If you don't have time, it's okay. It's going to be bouncy. It's like a shrimp. It might be a shrimp. Zoom in on them. Shrimp. 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 Oh, okay, come shrimp. on. Okay. <laughs> skip. <laughs> shrimp skip. Aww. Aww. No love for the shrimp. No. Hey, they deserve love too. Best on my plate. 
Oh. Harsh. Harsh. I think they're awesome to watch. They they're actually are really cool. Swimming. Yeah, they're very underrated. What was the newest bearing? Same, 330. 330, thank you. Yep. Do you remember that clip of the shrimp eating the fish? What? Yes. Was, yeah. What? Ooh. I'm sorry, I was We confused. haven't seen that on this expedition. Yeah. I don't think, Stephen. It was an older clip. Uh, I don't know which cruise it was from, but there was a shrimp swimming around with a fish in its grasp, eating it. A small was, fish. Wow. What was the size of both of these they, things? They were, I mean, the shrimp was probably slightly longer than the fish. That's Is the fish already cool. dead or? Uh, I don't know. Because another scavenger is most of the time, I think. Lynette, when we get to the end of the ship's move, can we pause so we can sure. maybe try to pick up another rock? Yep. Another rock. Yeah, we should be coming up to a sort of flatter area. Yeah. There you go. Looks like they have little tentacle, like two feet but I guess we couldn't see those. <laughs> That's the sea cucumber we were talking about. Something swimming by. Zoom. Off the left. Mm. Yeah. You remember that little sea cucumber we saw with the fin? Was that a sea pig? That was a pig. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So just Pigs just have like feet and fins. I mean, mm. like if you're recognizing them with the blind eye, not. I would say yeah. that the mobility is, yes, one of the central characteristics. Okay. Although cucumbers can move as well. Yeah, I think the one of the visual differences is that sea cucumbers have, like, they do have little leggy things, but you can't see them. And the sea pigs have, like, longer legs that you can see, and they also have those things off the top that you were talking about, and sea cucumbers, I don't think, have those. Okay, thank you. So sea pigs, I think, have more going on <laughs> that you can visually <laughs> see, and uh, sea cucumbers don't. Thank you. A couple Chrysogorgia there. Mm -hmm. Great look at the spine in the Ad Atalanta camera. Yeah. I just glanced up and saw the lasers in like a dark area and I thought it was like the glowing eyes of like a cat or something. <laughs> <laughs> Deep sea cat. Deep sea cat. That That's would cool. be you know, we got all the other second. You know what they call it when it's floating on the surface? A bob cat. Oh, uh, uh, that's pretty good. Oh, no. Clever. That was pretty good. That I gotta good. give that you that one. That was good. I'll get you. That sounded like an original. I think so. <laughs> that's good. Okay, very quick sea pig fact, just because. Yeah. yeah <laughs> absolutely. Just, okay, so sometimes. I guess supposedly in some places they can compose like the majority of the animal biomass um, of a place. Um, and they all, they usually face into the current. So if there's a lot of them, they'll all be facing in the same direction. Yeah, so they look like a oh. herd of pigs. Yeah. <laughs> sea pigs. That's very steep. Yeah. Oh Let's my gosh. Like. Oh, that's a cool Atlanta view. Ooh. Just my head in a little bit. What is that? Can we get a partial coral. zoom on that coral over here? Yeah, on the left side? Yeah. You betcha. Looks like a wow. primnoid, but I'm not sure. 
Okay, is he in there, please? Also check out that view of Herc from Atalanta. Mm. Nice <laughs> job, Ashton. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely just made Can we get highlight. a closer zoom on the polyps if possible? Uh, yep, go ahead. You can. Okay, thank you. All right, thanks. I love how supportive this team is. I just hover here on a winch <laughs> and the whole team is like, good job, Ashton. <laughs> Trevor picks up like four things in a row with the arm and stows them superbly. And we're like, and moving on Let's to the next on, science. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're up there. You're stable. We get a great video. Hey, props are due or props are due. Okay, we're about done with this ship's move. Okay, thank you. Yep. I think, I think that, that if, I went to the, if I went to the end of my leash, Gorgia then I could get to any I'm rock grab. I'm not sure, but that's what I think it is. Ooh. Do, wow. Do, do. Sorry, can you say that again, Trevor? If I get to the end of my leash, I have enough time for any rock grab. There's a okay. bit of swing with Atalanta, but I think we'll be okay. Sounds All right, fun. you just let me know when right, you... Right here. Let's start looking right here. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Um, let's go up into this little divot. Yeah, roger that. This is Taylor Swift. <laughs> um, what? <laughs> I would do this over and over and over again if I could. Wait, what, what are you guys talking about? What? Yeah, what are we talking about? I'll do what over and over? <laughs> what, grabbing rocks? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Absolutely. Um. I'm going to land here and, I don't know, try to pick something up. It looks all very attached. Yeah, this isn't quite what I want. What about off to the right here? Are you looking for angular or rounded? Rounded. Raj. And although these are very beautiful broken open pillows. Um, but yeah, I want something that looks more rounded and small, like the size of the lasers. Do you think that might be pick up a ball? Yeah, Raj. Might be attached. Ooh, yeah. That looks attached. Let's okay. Tilt the camera down a bit here. What about this um, one? Do you think that one might be loose? I can land on this little rock and poke around. Okay. Might as well see what we can find. Might be that small one, very right side of the screen. Over here? Is that what you're yeah. talking about? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Uh, craft arm on bubble, yeah, bubble Ooh, please. Bubble craft arm. Could we get a still of this area? I've gotten several. OK, great. No luck there. Nope. 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 Hmm. What do you think that? What about that one? Yeah. Nope. 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 Looks okay. like very solid ground. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not budging. All right, we can pick up and keep looking for a decent spot. Do you want me to keep porch light on while you no, search? Kill it. For the several people who are just wondering about the footage from last night, I know everybody's excited about the Dumbo octopus and some of the other cool things that were um, discovered and seen at yesterday's dive. I'm not quite up yet. Um, But hopefully soon. Um, Team Ashore is troubleshooting some other things, but they are just hold off just a working bit. to have that up Maybe for you right as soon as they can. Maybe underneath the lasers there? Is that too pillowy? 
No, pillowy is okay as long as it's rounded. Roger. This really is, look at it, Atlanta. This is going to be a false summit instead of just a little flat spot. Oh, wow. Exciting. So, yeah, I'll land and poke in this kind of darker area. Is that going to be okay? Darker area, like right in front of you? Right in front, yeah. Um, so too crusty? Maybe, but yeah, it looks kind of flat and crusty instead of rounded. Yeah. Mm. Um, but maybe this one. That okay. Little yeah, oh, I see it, the little guy. Little baseball. Little gaffer. Let's see how that looks. Oh, we've got a coral in the frame, too. Oh, yeah. Directly behind it. Hmm. Uh, That's the doorknob. stuck? Yeah, <laughs> you can't pull the doorknob off. Uh, oh, oh, just ooh. kidding. Nice. Oh, look at that. Medium crushed it. Yeah. <laughs> How can it be so stuck and yet so crushable? Porch light on, please. Right? Porch light on. And Steve, you can zoom. I don't think that's going to be suitable. No? Oh. No, because it broke. Oh, Roger, I see. Although it, it's nice to see the inside. Can we have a little look here? Yeah, see if I can get a best angle here. So Maybe it's this one. Definitely altered. <laughs> With a nice crust, maybe a centimeter or two thick. Okay, we'll try okay. to find something else. Come wide, please. Somewhere is our Goldilocks rock. Porch light off. Yeah. <laughs> Set it back so gently. Oop. Get off there. There you go. Stay. We might have better luck um, if we find a spot that's a little flat and then it starts getting steep again. Sometimes that's where pieces collect that are loose. Okay, well, let's start. A, let's do a ship move. Yeah, okay. And we'll just do one for now, I guess. Yeah, and then okay. we'll just pause it if we see something Bridge good. Bridge nav. Can we move three zero meters bearing three three zero, please? Thank you. How about that really, really, really tiny one right over here? It's the probably only a meter. small boulder the size I mean, of a large boulder? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Approximately the size of a well large played, boulder. Well played. All right, ever forward. Ooh, this side looks more promising. Yeah. Right or left, Beth? Left. Left. Oh, yeah. Maybe maybe there's some right here in front of us. Yeah. Ooh. That'd be ideal. And we have enough space that Atalanta can keep doing the move, and we won't run out of okay. jam. Okay. All right. So yeah. that'll be Ooh. fine. Atalanta is little. You can come down on Delta, I think. Bouncing around a little up here. Just yeah. don't run into that little pinnacle, and we're all happy. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this looks pretty, pretty all right. I hope so. I say jinxing it. Yeah, maybe some of these are loose right over yeah. here. Could be. This one also might be. A little more delta down, please. Yes, sir. Oh, what's this? Okay, there we go. Handcraft arm, please. Porch light? 
you have this choice. Uh, what do you want to start with? This guy? Any of those three look suitable to try. Oop. Not if you miss. <laughs> okay, negative on that one. Try this one. Negative. Hard no. Hard no, right. <laughs> Hmm. How about hmm. one of these? <laughs> poke, poke, poke. <laughs> I could do this all day. That's the one. What wondering? about this one? Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> it's like you're reading my mind, I swear. <laughs> Come on. Nothing. Punch, punch. Nothing. Punch. Uh, yeah, that is... Uh, it's very it's, attached. They're attached, yeah. They're they're part of the world. That's okay. We'll find something somewhere. Yep, absolutely. I had high hopes for that spot. There's plenty of rocks in the sea. As we all did. As the saying goes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Beth, some folks are wondering, are you looking for crusted or unaltered rocks? I am looking for rocks with crust, and they can be altered or unaltered on the inside. Mm. So it has to have crust. It doesn't matter what the inside is, but it has to have lots of crust. Yes. Cool. So I'm thinking maybe over this side, possibly? Let's, yeah, why not? Why not? <laughs> are we panned right, or is the yes. arm? Okay. I just kind of left it wherever. Roger. Whoops. Don't hit the back. All right. Can I have front porch, please? Yes, sir. Wow, look at that pinnacle. It's crazy. Wow. Just sheer off of both sides. <laughs> it really is. This is the, amazing. This is a fantastic ridge. Great dive site selection. This is amazing. For the rocks, yes. <laughs> I don't know where the animals are. It might just be because we're still kind of deep. I wonder if it's because it's so narrow and jutting out from the seamount that this ridge is it's a little red. unlikely to get larva to it. Could Who be, knows? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe they won't settle on it because it's so sheer. That All right, Beth, what, what do you think, think of that? Sure, that yeah. That dark one there looks like and maybe it's fallen off. Over to the right, just underneath that big bouldery thing, yep. could have some spots after. Yep. I'll start here. Oops. Whoopsies. Let's try that. Crumble. Crumble. Mm. I'm going to guess no. Yeah. On the keeping front. Exactly. Unfortunately. Okay. Craft arm view, please. Okay, front porch. So to give you context, I'm using the bubble cam to see craft when it's out of view of the Herxus, but I'm okay. using it looking down to help me land. Sounds good. Do you want me to try to anticipate that, or sure, do you totally. prefer to tell me? No, okay. you can you can go for it. Sounds good. And if I that. need something different, I'll ask for it. But if you perfect make the call, that's totally great. Can do that. Oh yeah, look at that. That looks broken right there. Oh yeah, could be. Okay, craft arm, please. Okay. Ooh, 
I don't think so. Oh. Looks can be so deceiving They here. really looked loose. <laughs> Try some stuff in here. Maybe this little guy? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. It's so loose. Do you want to okay. grab that? I guess at least a look, eh? Yeah. I can't really see it. Yeah. Would you like bubble cam down or? No, that's fine. Do like an arm? Okay. How about that for a tenuous grip? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Stealth. zoom in, please. It's interesting, but it's not what we need. Roger. Okay, come on. Oh man, he's got some scars now. <laughs> okay, well. I don't know. These are all going to be attached, I think. Yeah. Okay, we'll just keep going. Roger that. When you all say like delta down, what does that mean? That is the difference between our depths. Mm. And so, it, yeah. So when you say delta down, are you getting closer? closer? <laughs> I am. I'm paying okay. out on the wedge. Oh, okay. And so I'm in. That's up to Beth. Delta down just means Beth, I'm do you want another move or explore around here a little bit more? Uh, a short move, yeah, please, towards okay. waypoint two. Sure. That's the wrong way. Let's go the right way. Ooh. Bridge nav. Oh, look at that view. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> that wow. ship's roll right when you oh, were doing oh this. Oh my gosh. Three that zero just zero almost right. threw me out of my three chair three right zero, then. <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly. So Beth, just so you know, our bearing is Ooh. Ooh. this three, way. Yep. Three yep. Oh, it's we weird when the ship is moving in the same direction. Kill porch light. Please. Yes. Ah. Ooh. Thank you. Yeah, it's funny to feel the ship move and see all the cameras I go know. at the same time. It's like one of those 4D movies at Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for my chair to spray water on me. <laughs> <laughs> or for weird little gelatinous things to just run across. Slime star. Yeah. <laughs> Someone pour a bucket of water on your head. Randomly. Like run a feather over your face. Oh, feather star. <laughs> I think we're on to something here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Nautilus 2.0. Looks like there might be a sponge off yeah. to our left. Yeah, it's that little puff sticking off the side. Puff. There's something else over to the left. And I'm going to guess it's a coral, just to be contrary. Very okay. cool. You contrary and you. Any rocks here we like? There's Ooh. a fish. Oh, there's Ooh. a fish. Ooh. That's the halosaur. Look yeah. at it. It's feeding behavior. <laughs> now that Ooh. we know about wow. that. All right, we're going to have to watch your altitude pretty good because okay. we're going down slope and on this weird precipice. Yes, I think I might come up a little. Okay, you're at 19 meters altitude. Yeah. That's a coral. You might, yeah, I think you're right, Trevor. Nice job, so. Trevor. One point for contrarian. <laughs> yeah, Shelby. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry, Diane. Oh, no, that was me. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Shelby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I was just going to read an RB question, so I was probably going to, you're going to talk anyway, so you can go first if you want. Uh, I was just going to finish answering that delta question. Oh, yes, please do. Um, so the delta depth is just the difference, the delta between Argus and Hercules, Atalanta and Hercules. And so when I'm coming down on delta, uh, when Hercules is below me, that means I'm just like decreasing our, the distance between us. So I'm paying out on the wench. Um, getting a little bit lower in my altitude to come closer to Hercules, which gives Herc 
a little more range. Mm. Uh, actually, I guess your range really never changes, does it? It's always 30 meters. Is it more to give like uh, a little bit more slack on the leash type situation? More like or? A, a little more distance from the ship because mm. I'm just increasing the amount of 6 8 cable that umbilical mm. from the ship. Uh -huh. And then if I'm increasing delta, then I'm usually hauling in on the winch. Gotcha. And so I'm decreasing the length of that long steel. Another small polyopagon there. Any of these rocks oh, yeah. raise suspicion? Very mm. suspicious rocks. <laughs> they all seem pretty attached. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Another reason I say down on delta versus just down is because down could also mean tilt down, like on the camera. Yeah, that's oh. true. Good to be more specific. Hey, is that our sunset? That is our sunset okay. on V3, yeah. Just our Aww. sunset. <laughs> Which is very tilted. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, we wow. are rolling there we go. a lot. There yeah. we go. All right. Yeah, That's I didn't realize one. it until I oh, put this Jason, camera up. Look at this. <laughs> we got about nine and a half degrees of roll on that one. Just wanted to yeah. let you yeah. know. Oh, yeah. How so are we doing on the tension? Tension's fine, yeah. We okay. haven't seen six or uh, haven't seen five figures yet, which is nice. Great. Great. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. 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 all right. <laughs> Things are Did we break right 10? We're good. Oh, we here. broke 10. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're fine. The cups have lids. Wow. What is 12 going degrees. on here, guys? Excuse me. Uh. <laughs> what does that cloud look like to y'all? In the sunset view, in the starboard cam, if you're in the front uh, row. Looks like ET. Yeah. Like, like, without his, like in the bicycle position, but without the bike. Yeah. Without the one finger. Oh my gosh, look! I would have never noticed that. Oh my I goodness. I was going to say it looks like the letter F for like five seconds. <laughs> Big head. Small oh, body. Oh, I see it now. I got it. Yeah, if anybody rock? would like to see how much we're rolling, if you're also <laughs> watching the camera, Whoa. if you go to the Grafana <laughs> data, you can see our heave, pitch, and roll. How about this rock, Beth? Just below and to the left of the lasers. This one. Zap. Mm, I think that's going to be too angular and Kay. already broken. Roger that. Okay, we're done with our moves. I am super Do you keep picky. Going? <laughs> <laughs> Explore. <laughs> I only get two per dive. What I gotta I, be perfect. What if I bump this yeah, rock here with you the know, bumper? With good reason. Uh, ah, miss. Oh, I meant to follow up on oh, the. Oh, hey, how about this one? Oh, oh, you just oh. are going to run over it. I was trying to bump it with the bumper bar. Or the with the, what's this thing called? If you knocked it loose with the bumper, it would just roll downhill for <laughs> miles. I'll chase it. <laughs> this one right here. What do yeah, you think about that's that? that's what I was trying to hit. Okay. All right, I'll try to get it. Craft arm, please. Craft arm. Sorry about that. I get so fixated on the storyline. I'm like, is he going to get the rock? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Strong no. Hard, hard no, no. Sorry. Hard, hard no. no. Hard no. Hard rock, hard no. <laughs> Never a strong no. <laughs> While I'm here, let's just try this one over here. Doop, 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 doop. <gasps> oh, no oh, oh, way. Okay. Yes. That's very go. crunchy and crumbly. Can oh. you give me a porch light, please? Porch light. Let's Beth, check two, this thing two, out. two square. Whoa. Look at that. Hmm. Look cool at the shape. Yeah. It is a cool shape. But hmm. is it cool enough? <laughs> um, let's wait for the sediment to clear just a little bit. Roger. There was a second inside. loose one. It's like a, a are we good on our ship's move? Or do we need yes. to be uh, We are stationary right okay, now. Okay, great. Thank you. Yep. I got There's a pan left. Crunch. There we so go. There was another one over there, too, if we wanted to have a gander in a second one. I can place this one down temporarily and then pick it up later. Yeah, did you see one that moved over? Okay, I'm we're eighty percent sure. Yes. Yeah. Right. Okay. Now I'm seeing where it came from. Yeah. Do you want me to put this down and potentially grab it again in a sec? Sure. Yes. Okay. Oh. Whoa. Ooh. Oh, do that twice. <laughs> <laughs> Not likely. Okay. Was it? Can I remember? It wasn't this one. It was up here, I think. Oh, go, go, Gadget. Ugh. 
It might have tumbled down. <laughs> might have magic. tumbled down. Huh. Uh, might be 3,000 meters below us now. Yeah, likely. I'm facing a bit of current here. Roger. Shoot. Okay, well. This is not this the one? rock I'm looking for. This is not the it's rock not you're looking the one. for. Okay, well, you can stay up, tilt it up like that. That'll be very neat for the next people that come here. <laughs> Search continues. Yep. <laughs> Do you want to keep moving, Beth? Is that yeah. okay? You, no, not yet. Sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> that was a little make premature. Sure make sure I'm halted. And make sure you're straight. All right. There you go. Thanks. Yeah. Trevor, what do you think? Is um, should we put in another ship's move? Uh, let me catch my breath here. Okay. Uh, I think we can get a bit of more exploration without a ship move. Okay. Probably okay. another 20, 30 meters. But okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's try that. Yeah, okay. Looks like there's a Holosaur. eel off to our right. That's oh. Also. oh, look. Look at look it. Is a holosaur an eel? Eel-like. Eel-like eel -like fish. fish. But not an eel. <laughs> but I think that... Oh, those would be loose, but those are going to be too crumbly, aren't they? There might be some in there. Yeah? That are worth picking up. Yeah, well, let's get a look, closer look. Closer look, I. Look like at that. That one oh. right above the. It might be too big, but maybe it's just bright. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's about 15, maybe up to 20. I bet this way too big one's loose. Yep, yes wow. it is. Oh. It's a good All sign. Right. It's a good sign. Craft arm, please. Craft arm. Uh, can you confirm above or below the lasers? Below. This one. Yeah. The one above is also a good candidate. Oops. Well, it's loose. That's neat. Yay. Okay, zoom in, please. Yeah. Uh, see if I can tip that a bit more. See. That's Nice. So it might actually be good for Val. Yeah, very angular, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's got a little bit of crust on it. Um, can you keep turning it, Trevor, please? Yeah, I think this might be a good Val rock. Woohoo! Okay. So. That sounds like a starboard side. Yes, please. Yes, let's deal. shoot for Charlie. Let's see, let me look. Which way is it going to fit best? <laughs> oh, Pointy question. side down. How about that? Charlie, can you please switch my camera? Uh, the Adelant on the Herc page, Herc Hotel page. Oh, on the, on the Herc page, yes. Uh, you can switch port rail to starboard. Absolutely. All right, for the person, um, as you watch Trevor put that and box out sample into the starboard box, um, you were wondering if the hand and the ROV are controlled separately by two different people. Um, I think it can be, but usually it's one person dealing with mm -hmm. both. But um, in certain training sessions that Ashton has had with Trevor, I think she was dealing with the arms, but Trevor was sort of controlling like the ooh, There we go, Charlie. Gesture, so. All right. It ends. Congratulations. Round of applause. All right. We're going to try one more for me here. Same spot? Yes. Super duper. Maybe try this one. We don't have anything in those other two bio boxes, do we? No. Not yet. This one's going to be going in the front. Oh, okay. If it's yeah. Big rock. For, yeah, ooh, the one above it's loose, and this one is loose. Yes. Yes, it is. Nice. Watch out for the landslide. Oops, wow, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> Underwater avalanche would be wild. Oh, I'd love oh, it. Oh, yeah, I'd yeah love that would that. be <laughs> something. Okay, zoom in a little bit, please. Good there. Hmm. Okay, that's got the crust I want. Yay. Nice. nice. Yes. Oh, great. Awesome. Ah. Is that white slow stuff? just a little? Yeah, there we go. Yeah. I was just skipping the manip blocking part. Okay, thank <laughs> you. I apologize. Is it that's the white good. residue you're looking for, or no? That's sediment. The, the Great. Sediment. Gotcha. 
Beautiful. Sediment. That's okay, come wide, please. Forward. Lambda? Lambda. Lambda. All right. Oh, while well, we're putting this rock, uh, someone had a more of a geology question, wondering whether um, you've been seeing mostly pillow basalts so, or whether you've been seeing more carbonates and even some manganese nodules. Nice. Um, hold on, I will answer that in a moment. Sure. Um, Trevor, we would like to get a eDNA sample here, but e maybe we want to bump over to the left just a tad to get out of the sediment plume. Understood. I'll get set up, then I'll move over. All right, starboard box is closed, forward box is closed. When you say over to the left, you just mean come away from the sediment? Oh uh, yeah, like goal? lateral over to the uh, port side a little bit, just Roger. so we're, because it seems that the sediment's drifting to our starboard side. Yeah, awesome. That'll be closer to Atalanta, which is great. Yes. Bonk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here is fine. Sounds good. Uh, I'm going to try to make this quick because I don't have autos on this cliff. So we're just kind of floating. Just. Mm, no, I don't want to do that. Oops. Can we see the seat? No, never mind. I guess no was the answer. <laughs> oh, we're good. That uh, that's always available in the one just above the Zeus there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, I can see it there. Just if we wanted to show the audience, but oh yeah, good don't worry about it. Not important. It was too slow. It's okay. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful sunset. Um, <laughs> Yeah, okay, I think we can go ahead and put in a ship's move and start going to waypoint three. Raj. Okay. There's that rock you left on its side. Yeah, oh it's yeah. doing it's great there. It's mm -hmm. a whole new life, a new phase <laughs> of its life. It's turned over a new rock. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Herc has. <laughs> All right. Bridge if you're now. Here you go, that way. I want to go that way, too. Okay, i got to take this wrap out. Can we move three zero meters bearing three three zero, please? Of course, we're going to get a ship's roll. Woohoo! This is awesome. Wow. Whoops, sorry about That's that. That's fine, I pulled you. Okay. <laughs> I am the one who is sorry. That is you. Let me look for you again. Where'd you go? Look at how sharp this is. I know. If I'm not careful, it'll cut Herc in half. Eh. <laughs> What is the bottom of Herc? Is it like a There's all sorts of bits on the bottom of bottom? Herc. So Herc's frame is made of aluminum, and that extends all the way to the bottom. There's some uh, mesh underneath there, a little bit of, I think, one centimeter spacing stainless mesh to keep hmm. pokey bits out of the sensitive bits. And uh, that's most of the bottom. Oh, and then, Beth, did you want to crack at that geology Should question I again? turn to the Oops. starboard? No, I'm coming towards you. You're coming to me, okay. Um, I can repeat it if you want. Yeah, what was the question, <laughs> Shelby? They were just wondering um, if uh, we've been seeing mostly pillow basalts or whether it might uh, we might be seeing some carbonates or even some uh, oh, fields of manganese that. nodules. Um, yeah, we're looking at a lot of igneous material. Yep, there's a Check sea cucumber, out. a little bit different one. More purple. Oh, oh wow. Oh. Beautiful. Um, we are exploring a very steep ridge of this igneous material. Um, but just to our north Zoom is in, please. likely a carbonate terrace from when this flat top geo was closer to the surface of the ocean, which is why we probably have all the sediment oh. here raining down on us. Nice, thank you for that. 
That's, that's a gorgeous. Vibrant one. And you yeah. can still see those insides. <laughs> <laughs> At least they're well fed. That's good. Yeah. It's like putting lipstick on a sea pig. <laughs> 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 Oh, look at it. Oh, that's so pretty. cool. It is oh, pretty. Wow. Very pretty. It's really Thank beautiful. You, it's nice to watch them float through the water. Mm -hmm. What is that? The red one? Mm -hmm. This. Oh, is that just really oh, zoomed in? I'm super zoomed in. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what am I looking at? Oh, the high back screen? Is yeah. Etch a sketch. Yeah. <laughs> Navigation by etch a sketch. <laughs> That's how you do it, right? I think so. Can we get a partial on this coral, please? Heck yeah. <laughs> okay, can we, Steve. Can we try to convince the next watch that we should stay on another four hours and then they can do it eight hours and come up on the, the <laughs> yeah. blue water? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's a great Another bottle brush. Maybe we can sleep in. Chrysa Gorgia. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. You can come wide. We're wide. So for the viewer who's wondering oh, coral. <laughs> what those colored loops. Oh, finally a big oh. heavy corallium off to oh our left. Man. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's our first of the Oh, there's dive. something else over to the right, too, on that rock. Some life over here. Yep. I'm not sure what the what the stock is. Looks that like it might be form? colonized by hydroids. Yeah, so it's a dead dying Walteria. Dying. Squat oh. lobs. Wow. wow. <laughs> Interesting. We're right at the end of the leash here, but I'm okay. gonna I love when there's this this black backer yeah. that's just you can't feed it's the best. it. So yeah, it's can we beautiful. get some still cam shots too? Thank you. Do you want me to kill those Got lasers? It. No, uh, it's fine. No, I gotta go. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I just couldn't pass up an opportunity with the black background like that. Yeah. It's just so beautiful. Okay. I believe that's the first hemichorallium we've seen on this dive. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, person Ooh. out in the world. Um, yes, the colored loops that you saw, Trevor, pulling on Hercules um, were for the Niskin bottles. Um, we use those to take eDNA samples. Uh, eDNA stands for environmental DNA. Um, and it's basically a water sample. And it sort of gives uh, us an opportunity to... Uh, oh, that's fine. Let's do slightly more this way. The water column I feel like I'm on, on this side level. of the ridge right now, for whatever reason. We've been doing 330. Uh, Whoa. Hold on. Whoa. Can you Whoa. spin your heading to, s to port? Yeah. Uh, other, other port. port. <laughs> oh, gosh. Other port. Oh, no. Did I just get caught? Come full wide on Atalanta. Full wide. Okay, just keep spinning to port. Okay. All the way. All the way. 135. Okay, we're good. Okay, thank you. Okay, you can come to starboard. Let's okay. keep a higher delta. That sounds good. Can do. Lynette, did we make a subcategory of waypoints? Now we have 2.1? I did. I have 2.1 and 2.2 .2 because waypoint 3 is way off in the distance. Okay, so okay. I wanted to know the approximate track. Yeah, great. Take. That's smart. Yep. That's awesome. All right, so. Okay, do we want to try something like 300? Zero zero? Yeah, let's see. So if I'm on the ridge right now and I'm looking straight up it, whoop, I'm looking about uh, 320. 320. So if we want to get back over top of it, 300 zero zero sounds great. Okay. Are you ready for a move, Beth? Yes. Okay. Bridge nav. Can we move three zero meters bearing three zero zero, please? Thank you. <laughs> now
now that we've gotten some rock samples um, at these deeper depths, I think our strategy will just be to try to like boogie up these to Roger. get to shallower depths. Roger boogie. Um, but I'll confer with Dwight once he gets on. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't want to do too much boogieing before sure. uh, watch change. Yeah, of course. Right, we can do a couple of big steps in the meantime. We don't want to be mid-boogie, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shrimp. Shrimp. Oh, that sunset is pretty. Mm -hmm. It is. I think the one from, what was it, yesterday or the other day? Still at the top of the list, but. The green flash. <laughs> or what we think was the green flash. I thought you were going to say you could still see it. <laughs> <laughs> no, my retinas have healed. <laughs> I could, after that happened, I could still kind of see the green. Yeah. And so I turned to Shelby and I was like, can you still see it too? And, and she's I like, said, yeah. I sure can. And I was like, oh, perfect. It's not just me. And, and then yeah. someone who was in the sure it was either Stephen or Trevor was like, I'm pretty sure that's damage to your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> not the green flash. Don't get excited. Apparently, if you fly over the ocean on a western heading um, and the sun sets and you watch the green flash, it's like delayed or it's like elongated. That's oh, the better cool. word. So it's not a green flash. It's like a green, green strobe. Like that a long really cool. strobe. I know one person that, like, very strongly believed that there was no such thing as a green flash. And he ah. decided he would take photos um, to show it, to show the like, you know, when everyone said, oh, there's a green flash. Like, well, no, I took a frame every 60, like 60 frames a second or whatever. Yeah. There was no green flash. Really? And he was looking at his camera and it was all set up to be a green flash. He took a bunch of photos and everyone's like, wow, I saw a green flash. He's like, oh, I'll prove him wrong. <laughs> pulls up the photos, he can see the green flash in the photos, and oh. has, he has still never seen a green flash. Wow. <laughs> okay, that's He's only so taken a photo cool. of one. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. What I know odds? my iPhone didn't catch it last night. I think, yeah, I don't think it's 